Whoa. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to this week's session, session 18, and our final session of the year of All Fun and Dice. Woo. Yay. Woo. We made it. Finally, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, this year. This is the end of our first year of streaming. Wow. 18 sessions and pretty good. Not streaming, I'm streaming the SC been streaming for a while at the end yeah. of the year. <laughs> but still, super exciting. Um, I don't think we have any announcements. So, I don't think so. We're going to jump straight in. Okay. Following a failed attempt to save Lonan before he was transferred to the Seven Ivory Towers, our group had no choice but to fight for their freedom and their lives. Talia proved to be a great threat. Um, as the chief of police, calling forth her large, ferrety hippogriff, hippogriff, Pico, to fight alongside her. The battle was tough, but our adventurers seemed to come out on top, slaying all but Talia, who disappeared in a gust of wind. Their luck turned, however, while trying to save the mysterious Sasha from her cell. Talia reappeared, casting powerful magics and toppling Grey and Eerie. With tensions high and, a th and the threat of death looming, Pippin took matters into his own hands. To, hit, to save himself and his friends, Pippin combined his bag of holdings to create an uncontrollable rift through the Astral Sea. The last we saw our party, they were falling through this, courageous, this chaotic, viscous cyclone as they tumbled into planes unknown. Whoa. So everybody had fallen unconscious except for you, Pippin, mm -hmm. as you reached out blindly and caught hold of something, pulling yourself and the, your three friends who you had arm in arm mm -hmm. into the strange, mysterious plane. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna, and as you pull yourself in, I'm gonna have, make your own constitution saving throw. And we're all unconscious, right? Yeah, the, everybody else but uh -huh. Pretty good, pretty good. Wait, isn't, aren't you awake? No. Nope. You, oh. you, um, you were also awake, but you fell unconscious while going into the oh, okay. cyclone. I rolled a 21. A 21. So Pippin, you feel a, your ears pop and you feel your jaw ache as the pressure changes as you get pulled into this new area. You're no longer in the Cyclone of Colors, but the wind in the air is ruffling and your eyes feel like they're burning and you can't see anything, but you stay conscious okay. as you fall and tumble. Ah. And as you fall, you feel your grip slipping. On Make my friends? Strength check. Oh no. Ooh. I gotta hang on to you guys. Not good. Oh, God. Um, eight. Eight. Gets As you feel the your slick, sweaty palms release, and your friends tumble away from you. Oh, they're air. sweaty. And your turning is shifting. You don't know where up is. The world is chaotic. Mm -hmm. Before, boom. Roll another constitution saving throw as you hit something hard. Oh, two? <laughs> you fall unconscious. Okay. Lost. I'm confused. Aching head. Sword giants. Eerie. You find yourself awake. Uh. Upon opening your eyes, above you, you can see fast moving clouds. And you can hear the wind howling around you. Do I see anyone near me? Looking around, you don't see anyone, but you also don't doesn't seem right. Okay. You see long, billowing tendrils of almost like seaweed-like plants, and large stones with worm-like tendrils coming out of them. You find yourself laying on, not quite grass, more of a spongy surface that seems to be covering the, gr the gray, rough terrain. But you don't see... Actually, roll a perception check. Sixteen. Sixteen. You don't see anyone around you. Okay. And all you can hear is the rough howling of wind. Okay. Ooh, uh, <laughs> I'm going to kind of like just kneel up and mm. like sit and like just kind of like take stock of like my surroundings yeah. and uh... And just as you sit up you get almost like a wave of like, like vertigo. Okay. As your head spins and you feel off, mm -hmm. like you're sore, you're stiff, you felt like you've just like been through a meat grinder, like you do not feel great, okay. but you feel rested. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to stand up and, 
You said there's kind of like just weird like. It's weird. Yeah. Like roll a quick just intelligence check for me. She's not very intelligent. Uh, four. No, four. You, you've never really <laughs> seen any plants like this before. Some of them you like, some of them look like grass, like but they're like, almost like, t- like fifteen feet tall, and they like they're like, stand- pushing themselves way taller, and they're very thin and it's very strange. Okay, um, so I'm going to just start walking, like just walking, I guess, f- straight forward. Okay, and just straight, are you, do you have any intent in mind? Or uh, just I'm walking? looking for my friends, because okay. I don't know where I am. You can roll a survival check, then. I mean, Ooh. immediately. Okay. Oh, my survival skills are pretty good. Uh, 17. Oh, 17. So, you are just disoriented. Mm-hmm. Feels strange walking on the surface. It doesn't quite feel the same as where you're from. You almost feel lighter. Okay. Um, but... Oh, after about maybe like ten minutes of stumbling through this strange, this um, this strange area, you see a broken like like a, a part of uh, um, earth that looks disturbed, and okay. you can see that it goes downhill mm-hmm. slightly. I'm gonna walk towards that. Okay, and at the end of the hill, you see. The shining armor of Grey's familiar plate okay. sticking out of like, like almost like nudged up against one of those rocks, the tendrils like draping around him. Okay, he's in the armor. It's not. Yeah, the he's in the yeah, 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 yeah. You see oh, Grey. No. Okay. <laughs> he disintegrated. Yeah. Grey! Grey, thank God you're okay. What happened, Grey? And I'm going to like nudge him with my foot. Okay. Um, so upon the first nudge, Gray, he doesn't move. He doesn't move? He doesn't move. Okay. Can I lean down near his face and, like, t- take his pulse? Yes, so you can roll I a medicine mean, check. Do I know anything about the medicine? Who knows? You put his foot to your ear. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear some uh, medicine. 14. 14. You can feel, not even faint, like you can feel a pulse. Okay. Um, but just being so close to his face, you can tell it's pretty bruised up, and you can see that. His eyebrows are still singed, and any facial hair that he had is like has left little, little, little red, like sores from where okay. it burnt away. Okay. Uh, is he good. laying on his back? Um, he's kind of on his side. Can I roll him onto his back? Yeah. Can I roll him onto his side? Okay, yeah, it's it takes a second because he's heavy. Yes. Um, this he's a big person, and you're not very large yourself. Can I take? Do I still have my like water? Um, yeah, I'm looking at, like, uh, you take a quick, like, um, like yeah. look around and you see that you have all your supplies that I'm you have. I'm gonna cap my water and pour it on his face. Okay, Gray, you feel a <laughs> of water gush over your face, waking you from a strange dream that you can't remember, other than a sickening laughter. Gray. What? Gray. What happened? Upon waking up, you see leaning over you a strange face. You see white skin and short, coarse, thick white hair, almost standing up straight, with a large alien expression, large, pure black eyes, with a small upturned nose staring down at you. Uh, I'm going to try to scurry away. Okay. And, I'm just... and you find yourself already almost pushed against a rock. <laughs> what are you? Cray, are you okay? How do you know my name? What do you mean? I don't know you. I'm gonna try to like back up and kind of like put my hands up. Did you hit your head or something? Are you okay? I don't remember. Roll perception. That is a 10. A 10. You notice that as much as you don't recognize the face or even the body, you recognize. Clothes. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Specifically, the cave. You can as it's Eerie's cave. Did, did you eat Eerie? <laughs> <gasps> did you take her clothes? Oh my You're a monster. God, he's been hurt. Uh, you my must have hit your head. It is me. I am Eerie. What happened? Are you okay? Where are we? I, I, I don't know, but I don't trust you. Why? You're... I don't know what you are. What do you mean? We've known each other for months. You're not the eerie that I know. 
I'm gonna be very confused. Okay. And just kind of like take a step back and be like, I'm gonna give you some space. Uh, just sit, sit up for a second, maybe drink some water. Okay, what do I remember? Like, do I just remember going into the cell and that's it? You remember the fight, and you remember slaying the Hippogriff Pico and him dissolving, and you remember Pippin trying to pick the lock to get the strange woman out of her cell. And that's it. And you remember hearing a gust of wind behind you and turning and seeing Talia wreathed in flames, and that's all. That's the last thing you remember. What? Where are the rest? Where, where is everybody? Have you seen any companions or anybody else? You're the else? first person I've come across since, I don't know, since Pippin combined the bag of holding. Alright, you haven't tried to eat me yet or anything? I don't know what, why do you keep saying I'm gonna eat you? I don't understand. I don't, I don't, I don't know what you are. <laughs> what do you mean? You don't know what I am. <laughs> I'm eerie. You're a creature I've never seen before. Oh my god, something's wrong with him. I don't understand. Okay, great. <laughs> Alright. There, there. I'm like shaking my head and I'm just like... Oh my Roll a quick perception check as you pat Gray on the shoulder. As he recoils, even at, at your touch. Uh, 20? Not not 20, but 20. You see that... You're pale. You know that you're pale. Okay. But looking... Your nails are longer than you were expecting. And your hand is almost ghostly white. With a little... A sheen of like silver instead of the normal natural pink that you would have. And my, my hands are gonna go, like, start shaking. Yeah. I'm gonna be like, uh, yeah. Uh. I'm just, like, shaking as well. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? What? I don't wanna. And it, touching your head, you feel the coarseness that you re- recall, uh-huh. but the hair shouldn't be there. That's the, the texture of the streak on your, of the white. And as you touch the rest of your head, you feel. Your hair is standing straight up, and it's not as typical smoothness. It okay. is the coarse white and the coarse thickness. Um, uh, uh, um, what is, where are, what is happening? Hi. Hi. What happened to my skin? I don't, uh, what do you mean? Why does it look like this? I don't know, I, are, are, are you, can I like, you can roll, you can roll insight to see. How you're feeling about uh, this creature 14. in your ears clothing. So, you can tell that the... Ooh. Here, Yuri, are you being genuine with how you're acting? Yes. Yeah. I'm genuinely, like, scared and confused. And you can tell this. You and can I don't know what's this. happening. Then oh. you can tell that this, this shaking is real. And you can t- you, you know, it reminds you of when you first entered Von Drassel. In the state that Eerie was in then. Oh my gosh. What exactly is going on? How how did you transform? Or, or what happened after the Tran- fight? Transform. I don't know I don't know what I, you I don't know what you mean. I, you, you, I, you're white. Even touching, you go to touch where your brow should be yeah. and you realize that as you lift your hands, yeah. it's like you can see where they, they, your eyes would be where your brows would be. Like your eyes are much larger okay. than they're expecting as well. Okay. Oh, you have like giant bug eyes. <laughs> they're not bug eyes. Spiked hair, you changed a lot. We have to find out. We have to find everybody. We have to do something. Um, mm, Is there like water anywhere around me? Uh, roll a quick perception check. Ooh. 22. 22. So looking around, you don't see any water, but you can hear. Okay. Hold on. You can okay. No, I'm sorry. Continue. But you can hear the coursing of a, like of some sort of okay. waterway. I mean, how far is how far are we talking? Um, you can't guess, but you can tell it's like east. Okay. Instead, I'm just gonna grab Gray by the shoulders and like crouch down in front of his armor and see if I can see my reflection in like the shininess of his. Uh... And upon looking, you see, as I described before, the upturned nose, the slightly pointed ears, and your face is much more like thin. Uh huh. as with your neck. And you almost look a bit more normal um, when you look and you're like, you almost like a, like a sigh okay. when you look in the armor, but then it takes you a second and you realize that it's a warped and that you're probably much thinner and okay. leaner than even that armor showing Ooh. you. Okay. And you said my eyes are... They're like much like what much larger than they were before and like they almost appear pure black. Like anime? So she's 100% an alien at this point. <laughs> <laughs> like 1,000% an alien. What's Something. Up? I'm going to like, like, fall backwards. Right? I feel bad for Grey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to fall backwards and like, 
I'm not gonna scream, but I'm gonna kind of like cry a little bit. Like, what happened to her? What happened to me? Do you have, does she have like sharp teeth? <laughs> Oh, oh, they're, like, they're just really big. They're like a little oh. bit bigger. Not like huge, but like oh a little gosh. bit bigger. You, you poor thing. I don't know what happened to you. I have. I'm so I'm confused scared. right Where now. Where are we? What's happening? I don't understand. I think we should try to find. Uh, we should try to find Pippin. I really think that he might be able to help us in this situation. <laughs> I, and I don't know. <laughs> we need to try to find everybody we can. And I don't know what exactly happened after the hippogriff died. Okay. I need. I need. I'm gonna use my information. quarter staff to kind of like push myself up. Shaking still like, these clouds. I'm just looking at my hand, like when I grab it, like what? It's almost earth? like a talon hand reaching okay. around. Okay. Ooh. Talon. And, uh, like. Kind They're of like the nails, nails are much longer. Nails no, are much longer. Like I, I imagine Eerie always like. You never mentioned this, but I always imagine Eerie had like a nervous tick of like, chewing her nails. Like yeah. me in real life. Hundred <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> percent. So like, I so they were always very short. <laughs> could could you help me up? Yeah. Okay. Just. I'm going to like now. give him my other arm, shoulder for him to. Yeah, and and great. Try myself up. Great, you're just feeling like, like a baked potato. Yeah, yeah. it's been a long night. Yeah, it has been. Yeah. I came from over there, but I didn't see anyone from yeah. there. All right. And you're pointing, and she's pointing like up a small incline. Okay. So I don't know if maybe we should go towards the water. Yeah, I think we should kind of like spread out, maybe stay stay around each other, but like okay. kind of cover more surface area. Um, I don't know where we are. I'm not sure if we should make too much noise. I was gonna start calling out if I didn't find anyone, but I don't. I don't know. Could be lurking in these tall grass. I'm really concerned. <laughs> I I don't know what to think either. I think this is all. Maybe this get is your new. So, maybe get your sword out. Your, do I have my swords? Yes. I do. Okay. You don't have them on your body, but like, with quick glance around, you okay. can see them like one is like pierced into one of the strange seaweed like okay. plants. So I'll I'll put one in the sheath. I'll use one as kind of like a kind of like point down, kind of like using as like a cane kind of. Mm, okay. And then I'll uh, try to look around and help uh, with the search of my companions. Okay. Are you guys both gonna try to look around? Yeah. So yeah. roll survival. I mean, Sable will stay like, uh, like, you know, um, 15, 20 feet? Yeah. Like shoving, not shoving distance, but like. Like you can't you necessarily see each other because of the thick you can vegetation. You hear if, like you talk mm -hmm. yeah. distance apart. So roll individual. Eerie, you roll with disadvantage because you're quite shell-shocked <laughs> right now. What am I rolling? Um, survival. Okay. Yeah. Disadvantage because you have potato brain. <laughs> <laughs> potato. You're, okay. <laughs> potato brain. Okay. Potato brain. Potato. Seven. Seven. <laughs> We're not finding anybody. I rolled better with disadvantage than he rolled. I have a zero to plus. <laughs> so you guys look around for a while, and it takes you about 20 minutes before you finally hit this small flowing river um, that you can kind of see that trickles into nothing. And you, so you guys can tell that you're at the end of maybe some sort of vein that comes off of a larger body. Do you think we should follow it up? Or do you think we should sp spread out? I mean, it's hard to say where they might have landed. I don't even know how we got here. Exactly. I was unconscious and I woke up here. I mean, we could be going in the wrong direction, but I feel like we should continue onwards and kind of look I'm around. I'm going to start to like walk up the towards where it's heavier water. Okay, um, and up towards the river. I keep glancing down to like kind of look at myself. And I and it's and kind of distorted, every time. but it's. You can see that it's like almost, almost a sheer white. Like it's almost like you're like shocked to see like it reflecting so much light back at you. Okay. I'll slowly follow and just keep an eye on it. Okay. Two of you guys roll a d20 for me. Where? There it goes. Wait. Okay. <laughs> 11. 10. Okay. <laughs> so, loan it. Aww. You, <laughs> <laughs> you find yourself uh, st like startling awake after. <sighs> Swearing that you have the worst dream of being in jail. <laughs> Looking around, what do I see? You find yourself on almost like a bare rock in the middle of a small clearing, but around the, veg the strange, same strange vegetation. Small, like, barnacle-like protrusions coming out of the ground with small divots in the center. Some have small insects, which you kind of look again and you realize, oh, they're not that small. There's like a dragonfly the size of your forearm Ooh. nesting on the inside one of these strange barnacles. And that's kind of what you see 
Okay. Very slip on the weight gain. Um, do I have my stuff with me? You have your um, bow on your back because you did have it um, from before, um, but you don't see your rapier right away. Uh, roll a quick perception check. What about my arrows? That, the, it would be in your quiver. Uh, perception? Uh, 20. 20? You do see um, a small gl a glimmer of light. Do I see Pippin as well too, or anybody around me? You don't see anyone around you, you only see your rapier. Okay, I'll go get my rapier. Okay. Okay, so I'll grab it. Uh, looking around, what well, looks like more of like an open path to walk, like less less vegetation, like more so like, okay, this is kind of like walking along the edge of like the sand slash water. And are you looking for people? Yeah. Roll survival for me. I'll give you the answer for both. Nat 20. Really? Nice. Oh, nice. Oh, so you fi managed to find. Oh, nat 20. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you find, um, and you see a small, almost like, you almost miss it the first couple, you miss it the first couple times you're looking over it. But you see a small, almost like, not natural walkway. Maybe like a creature has been crawling through this area. Then you are able to clear the brush above and have a clear walking space below. Um, after about 20 minutes of like kind of a little bit of fruitless efforts, after finding that good path, you hear a uh, that you recognize as a pippin groan. Uh, <laughs> I rush over to it. Is he like uh, is he like in the bushes? Um, you you hear it, but you don't see where Pippin is. Okay, I tr I'll try to follow the sound. Uh, uh. <laughs> okay, so you can follow around and you kind of lead to this like really thick brush or vegetation, but you still don't see where Pippin is. I'll like, I'll like tear through like all the vegetation. Okay, and you look through the ground and you still hear the noises, but there's not, you don't see anything. It's just like a, it's just like an injured animal. Is he near like my, like the noises are, is it like near my ear? Like can I put my ear right to the noise? No. You just hear it in the <laughs> air. <laughs> I, just, I just like, like I just want to make sure he's like invisible or something. No, 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 he's not invisible. No, no. Okay. I know what you mean. No, he's yeah, not. Like, I meant like if he's invisible. He, you can hear it in the area, but you're having a hard time pinpointing where it is. It's okay. like a, it's like a carnivorous plant that yeah. mimics the sound. I thought you were maybe <laughs> shrunk down to like a super small uh, size. So I'll try, I'll try continuing to like look around. Uh, I'll stop searching the bushes. Look, kind of get like higher ground and see if I can see anything. Roll perception. One. What one. That you <laughs> one. <laughs> not twenty. That <laughs> one. Find a good pathway. Like um, getting to higher ground, you still you can still hear him, and as you're walking, am away, I you awake? Can... What am I just moaning? What's <laughs> yeah. going on? Just moaning. Yeah, in my sleep. <laughs> 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 you don't see where he is though. Not you... so far. Okay. Uh, well, I'll assume that's probably like in some sort of echo. Uh, I will stay on like the coast, I guess. Like, am I near the water right now? You don't see any water. I don't see any water at You're all. You're in the middle of this like vegetation, like this strange. <laughs> I'll, see this vegetation. <laughs> I'll stay near the coast. <laughs> <laughs> and so I will, um, I will light a, f a bush on fire with my <laughs> with my tinderbox to try to like put a little, <laughs> put a bunch of smoke like smoke up. Kind of roll thing. roll a survival <laughs> check for me. Okay. Uh, survival. Plants 12. Angry. 12. So it takes you a minute to find. You try to light. The first bush you light, okay. it like smolders for a moment, lets off some smoke, but like otherwise it's too damp. Um, so you can continue looking to see if you can find another bush. All right, I'll look, for, I'll look for a bush that's that's a little bit more dry. Okay, it takes you about another 15 minutes. Uh, roll a d20 for me in this time. Oh my gosh. 14. 14. Okay. So it takes you another 20 minutes and... <laughs> Another another few you literally to start really lighting this uh, <laughs> to light this fire when Pippin, you awaken, Ugh. sore head, oh, wow. dangling, <laughs> dangling, <laughs> dangling, <laughs> like a parachute, caught dangling? within strange billowing leaves that are like almost moving. He was a bumblebee <laughs> in a tree. I mean, like, okay, so I'm hanging in these like vines, wonder. yeah, and the smoke's going in your face, and I'm like, Ugh. and you, I'm gonna be like. Tenaculum! Tenaculum! You hear... You hear tenaculum. Can I... Okay, I'll look around. I won't look up yet, but I'll look around. Still see nothing and hear anything? Tenaculum? Can I you see, and you, you feel tenaculum, like... <laughs> moving up your side. Okay. I'm, I, I'm gonna respond with yelling. Pippin! And then I'm, gonna be like, I'm just yelling. I'm just... He I'm, just I'm, yelled. I'm just yelling. I'm okay. not looking up. Pippin! Okay. I'm gonna go... <gasps> And I'm gonna look for Lonan. You don't see anything. You can't even see the sky. Oh, yeah. Lonan! Pippin, where are you? I don't know. I'm caught in some 
tangled plants. Tenaculum, try melting it with your acid. <laughs> uh, roll a d20 for Tenaculum. He's going to take like 15 damage. Ooh, eight, okay, yeah. Not so bad. It, and, he no, spits I, out the tree and it lands on yeah. the Yeah. <laughs> so you, like, <laughs> it's low. <laughs> I just like. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> um, so it, it starts melting through, but it, it's, it would take like a long time for Tenaculum to like. Yeah, melt one of them tree. caught in some sort of vegetation. I'm not familiar with this plant species. <laughs> I'm looking for you down here. I can't seem to find you. Follow the sound of my voice. I'm, I can't see, Where are you? Up? I don't know. I can't see anything. <laughs> okay, follow me. I'm voice. hanging from something. I look up immediately. Do yeah. I see him? So, within the area, you, can, you can't see him, but you see a small, like, dribble of something that sizzles onto the ground. Ooh, okay. How high up is this sizzle? I think it drops and then sizzles beside it. Is there like giant trees above me? They're not giant trees. It's more like long, like, um, like thin tendrils of a trunk that leads to these like seaweed, like blue, like, um, leaves. They're blue? Yeah. Like Dr. Ooh. Seuss kind of style? I was thinking more like royal blue. Okay. So like Avatar? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, You're always high, on the plane of Avatar. How high are these things? Is the Navi? <laughs> <laughs> um, I would, you would estimate that they're probably like, um, the canopy that is above you here is probably like, uh, 15 feet up. I'm gonna start like wiggling um, around and trying to get loose. And you can see that it rust, the, the, the canopy above you is rustling more. Help! Help get me down. Pippin, careful up there. Don't. I don't want you to fall. I'm gonna like hold my arms out if I can. Like just like. <laughs> can I like kind of see him squirming above? Right? Roll a dexterity saving throw. Oh, um. Twelve. Twelve. Okay. So you feel you're wiggling and you feel suddenly something that was wrapped around your leg loosen. And you start falling. Oh, <laughs> catch Can me. I catch him? Roll an acrobatics I'm gonna, check. I'm gonna like, <laughs> dive and try to catch him. Oh my god. Except he's not there. And he's, yeah. he's gonna 12. Be... No. 12. <laughs> You're the poet. But I was okay, vigilant, let's though. see. I was vigilant. Before. Vigilant. Okay. So, you fall, and <laughs> you see Pippin's bright hair appear out of the canopy. <laughs> and with only seconds to spare, you dive down and catch him before Ooh. he whacks his head. Pippin! <laughs> Are you okay? Hold <laughs> like, like, me. <laughs> <laughs> Is everything okay, baby? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone starts writing their fan fiction. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I blush out of the tree. <laughs> my <laughs> hero. Clothing torn. <laughs> Yeah, I quickly tie up my bodice. <laughs> um, oh my god, where are we? What? I have no idea. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't gone on with all Where's, where's Anaculum? He's like on. He's on, Pepe. Yeah, he crawls back up okay. to my shoulder. I'm gonna oh stand up. Oh my goodness. Have you. Do you know where. You just woke up? You don't know where we are? I don't know where we are. We're clearly not. <sighs> I've been searching around for hours and I can't seem oh. to find it. For hours? Se- seems like hours, I guess. It's been a while. It's been like a, an hour ish. Oh, yeah. It's like 10 minutes. Um, <laughs> no, don't worry. Um, well, you were awake. I combined the bags of holding and opened a portal to the astral sea. Well, that I know. That yeah, I, I, I did see that. But. You must have fallen unconscious when we transited through. Um, I reached out towards the nearest portal I saw. Um, I'm not sure where we are, and I'm going to look up and around. Okay. Uh, above you is just the canopy, but you can step out from underneath because you're kind of like under a tree right now. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay, I'll step out from under the tree and kind of look around. Looking up, you see clouds moving very quickly, very chaotically above you. How's um, the sky? Like, what time of day is it? The, from what you can tell, it's only around noon. The sky is very blue, um, and between the clouds, you can see that nice bright blue of the sky. I'm going to kind of like bounce on the spongy ground. I have. N- um, how's how's the gravity feel here? Gravity, you feel uh, doesn't feel too different. Maybe a little bit lighter. Okay. But you can tell, um, like maybe huh? you would increase your jump height by one inch, <laughs> but like so, like, like very like, slightly. Like, do we lighter. feel like lighter? Do we like when we're running and stuff like that kind of thing? No. Is Not it like, like moonwalking? That's like, what I was kind of picturing. No. <laughs> moon. Well, um, I think we should f- try to find the others if I'm we can. I'm not familiar with this vegetation. Um, I'm like looking at a leaf. Oh, yeah. The the vitral. Vitral. I'm like. Mitchell. And out comes like a fish swimming through the air. Swimming through the air. A little cool. white fish. Mitchell. That little like bluey, like kind of like light Snow. blue. Yeah, powdery fish. Mitchell, do you know how to know where we are? 
Release the bubbles if you have any idea. Both of his eyes blink. <laughs> like, separately. <laughs> so he has no idea. <laughs> Mitchell doesn't know anything. Clearly. He's only got one book in there. He'll, like, ram into your head. <laughs> well, it doesn't really hurt, but it's just, like, a nut. Yeah. We should probably <laughs> find the others. <laughs> yeah. I, I held on to everyone when we passed through, so I'm at least fairly certain that they are in the same plane as us. I hope. It seems as if there would be no other place to go. Be careful, Lone, and this place is probably incredibly hostile. I have no idea where we are. Um, how much planar knowledge do I have? Roll an arcana check. And uh, t before you tell me the roll, what exactly are you... Like, not what planar knowledge, like, what are you wanting to know? Um, I kind of want to know what, like, does Pippin know about certain planes other than the material plane that we're from do i know um things to look out for or like maybe possibly um like identifiers of certain planes that would tell me where i am okay yep so tell me what you rolled so i rolled a um i rolled a 24 24 so pippin you are familiar in your studies you have heard of the planes and so you know of the six planes that are closest to the material, the prime material, which is what you call the plane that you guys know of. Call the, the prime material is the, that's what Pippin. I wouldn't. Know. That's I'm like just that's yeah. where we're from. Um, and you also know of the four elemental planes: okay. water, fire, earth, and air, and the almost like mirror planes, as they're known in some alchemical studies, of the Fey Wilds and the Shadowfell. As well as all, and you know that they are connected by the astral sea. Um, and you also know that there is the outer planes, which of, amongst there are many, um, but you know that those are more distant, and you would estimate huh. that you would not have been able to travel there accidentally. I, I have a hypothesis that we are likely within one of six planes. Well, that doesn't narrow it down too much, but well, which one do you think it, down, it might be? Um, look, ju judging by the vegetation, I'm going to say maybe the Feywilds? Feywilds? Perhaps. Do I know what the Feywilds are? Mm, roll a history check. Oh, nice. Uh, 24? 24? So you don't remember a lot from your youth. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I meant 84. <laughs> yeah, 24. But what you do remember is a story that a vague like, a female figure, an elder, would tell you of the ancient folk who once roamed the Dogen Woods. The Dogen Woods? Known as... Haven't we heard about this before? The Dogen Woods are the woods in um, Kadareth. Yeah. The ancestors to your people, the shifters. Right. That's what they thought. Um, and that they descended from a place known as the Feywilds. Ooh. Yeah. Well, but that's the only that's the only instance that you remember of what that I've heard stories is. about this place. I'm not a hundred percent certain if we are within the Feywilds. The four elemental planes are typically filled with the certain element, so we're not on fire and we're not drowning and we're not underground. We might so, and I don't like. There's some ground under us, so I don't think we're on any of the elemental planes, though I would like to get a better survey of the area before I um, am incompetent in that answer. Well, and I'm going to point to like one of the large bugs that's in front of us. Yeah, so and they, and Pippin, you hadn't noticed before, but as Lonan points, you see scurry out from some of the spongy, weird moss that is the grass in this kind of terrain, a large, like, beetle the size of your shoe, like, crawl out and, like, like, like kind of, like, turn. Do you and see? Like, you see its antenna turn and scurry. Does this look familiar? Area. I've never traveled the plains, Lona. Well, just wondering. Seem to know that's quite a few That's clearly not from the material plane, I would say. But I'm not sure. I'd like to see more. Perhaps we should find the others. I hope they're okay. They might be caught in giant vine trees like I was. Why not? Let's go look then. All right. So we can search for them. Tenaculum, perhaps you can make Tenaculum fly like you did before. Yes, he can do that. Tenaculum, please inflate and go higher up. Vitro, could you help possibly? And we'll just swim up. <laughs> All right, um, Tenaculum, could you could you survey the area and if you find 
Um, if you find Eerie or Grey, could you lead them back to us? Okay. And what are you guys doing in this time? We're gonna look around. Just look around to see if we can find anybody or hear anybody. Okay, roll a survival check for me. I guess we'll be going through and I'll be going, uh, I'll be, be going Grey, Eerie. Okay. Are Natural you... 20. Nice. Ooh. Me too or no? Yeah, you have to roll as well. It's individual. Oh, as of what, sorry? It was it's... Survival. Uh, 16. Not bad. <laughs> Compared to wow. 7 and 10. Well, I mean, we were working hard. I was stressed. Yeah. <laughs> like, I was I'm almost like... dead. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys, um, Pippin, as soon as you kind of like calm, like kind of like you breathe in and you hear the sound of water coming okay. from the west. Or what you would imagine is west. It's hard to, like, at least to your left. It's hard for you to guess where the directions would be. Can I see, is there any sun? You don't see a sun. I don't, so I can't really tell what direction. Mm-hmm. Lonan, I hear water this way. Come over here. Well, uh, let's let's head over there. Uh, so that we're gonna walk near <laughs> the water. Okay, one <laughs> second. I was gonna jump over. We're gonna wait. Sorry. S- Saber currently saw something crawling from the it's side of the side of the wall, and apparently it's yeah. a giant spider. Halt the stream. There's yeah. a spider. There's a spider. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel, you can do it. Attack roll. Roll attack. It's oh, like, oh, oh. oh, it's an eleven. Oh my god, it hits! It hits! Oh, Did you get it? It's critical! I got it. Okay, okay. I didn't want to get bit. No spiders have been harmed during the filming. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, she sees something because she's not leaving. Saber was like, I am that thing too. Yeah, Saber. We freed it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Lizzo, so we're gonna, look on, the, we're gonna look on the coast of the water. Okay, so we're gonna jump back to Grey uh-huh. and Eerie. So you have been following the path of the stream. Uh, and you can tell you're going upstream. Because the water is flowing down and trick- that, to that trickle that you had seen before. And after about maybe an hour of travel, you guys um, finally hit like a main, like um, a, bit more ma- a bit more of a main point. And you can tell that the river that you guys have gotten to, um, which is kind of still strangely shaped, it's not quite like a, the harsh lines mm-hmm. that you expect from a river, it's more of like a little divot that reaches up and goes to the other side. And you would guess it's probably like 40 feet wide. Okay. Do, do you think that they would have been shot out this far? I don't know. I don't even know where we came from, so I don't know how, how I, we landed. Uh, I, I just hope we find them soon. Maybe we should start calling out for them? I mean, there's, there's no harm in trying. I just don't want to bring something else to our attention or get eaten. And whatever else might happen out here, but uh, I'll just shout out. Pip, Pippin, Lonin, hello? Are you doing anything? Are you doing that as well, Eerie? Yeah, I'm gonna go, Pippin. A saber-toothed tiger. Do I hear them? With my elf ears. I'm actually gonna have you both roll survival. Uh-huh. Oh, that's not bad. <laughs> that's not <laughs> twenty, not actual twenty. Okay. Four. So, I'm like whispering. So as you're calling, eerie, you hear the faint over the winds, over the rushing of the water. You hear it. Okay. Eerie. Coming from across the I way. Hear, I hear Who's something. shouting that? And Lona and Pippin, you hear. Eerie. And you hear. Not Eerie. <laughs> <laughs> eerie calling their own name. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you hear. Le Pepe. Lona Pepe. And I'm like, we. <laughs> we'll rush over to the. I'll rush over to like the. We're in the French plane. So we're on this coast. <laughs> There's a plane of France. <laughs> Yeah, it's a different world. Are they on like the other side of the wa- like the water? So as you kind of break through the undergrowth, you see on the opposite shore of this strange, smooth river, you see Eerie. Oh, we can see them? But it's not Eerie that you see. You see a strange white figure with like stance, oh, like hair that stands so straight up with large bug-like black eyes wearing just, just a black, a black clothes. And you can see... And, and, you see, and you can see her kind of waving. So as Pippin's like running towards, I'm just like, I like put my arm out to like stop him. I'm like, <laughs> Pippin, what is Close what, what is that over there? Oh, that must be a, a local, a native to this plane. 
Greetings, local. <laughs> what it's like a 40... <laughs> they're like 40 feet away. Oh, it's a rushing river. Do we see gray, though? Oh, how... This river's gray. 40 feet wide? Is unseen. This river's 40 feet what? wide? What? So we can't see gray. Okay. So he's we'll not jump back Pippen. to you in a minute. I mean, Eerie? This plane is... It's 40 feet wide, this river? This is what like... I just said it's the main... It appears to be the main body of the river. Oh, my God. What is happening? That's so that, I, that must be some sort of local, I would assume. I don't know if we should go across. Just well, curious. Sorry. What do you do upon seeing that? You be... see Loden clothesline Pippin. Yeah. It might be hostile. I'm Perhaps be we like... should keep a distance. Ooh, I don't like... think crossing there might be a good idea. I don't think we can cross what the river. What do I see? We're going to jump to you in a minute. Go downstream! It's not as deep. I'm gonna be like, go downstream. But it speaks common. <laughs> Sounds like it's. Does it sound like eerie? The voice is slightly different. Maybe. Would you say? How would you say your voice has changed? Um, I'm trying to think. I would say it's slightly deeper. Deeper. So it's. It's not manly or anything. No, it's just like. It's just not as childlike. A bit more of a baritone. You yeah, know? it doesn't sound as like young. It sounds maybe a little bit older. Yeah. What I'm so about, you wouldn't quite recognize the voice, what especially about, about this distance. What I'm worried about is that, what if they know who we are because they found the remains of the others? The remains. locals. You know, and then they know who we are. What do you mean they found the remains? Of, do you think they have like pictures of us or something? I have no idea. Maybe they found them and then Eerie and, and Grey told them we're looking for our friends alone in Pippin. So, as you guys are speaking, this seems quite odd. One second. You hear a rustling in the undergrowth behind you, Eerie. And we're going to jump to Grey for a second. As you're screaming your name, you're screaming Pippin and Lonan, you kind of stumble away from the river for a moment into the undergrowth. And before you realize that you're a bit far, you, you don't quite know where you are. And you see, and you see like a collection of like stones in front of you. Uh, what are the, what are the stone? how many stones do I see? <laughs> Just a pile. 17. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. a pile, you see a pile of stones. Uh, <laughs> what do you do? Count them out. <laughs> uh, One, two. I'm just gonna uh, look back and just like, where, where, Eerie? Where did Eerie go? Looking back, you don't recognize the path that you just came from. You don't see where the growth you moved to come here. You don't see anything trampled. Oh, uh, no. Not again. <laughs> where am I? Um... Where are you? Where am I? He got to a different plane, so his accent had to My, change, guys. Everything changes in a different plane. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick up uh, one of the. Uh, I'm gonna just like, inspect the uh, piles of rocks and kind of see. What, okay. There. So roll, roll um, investigation. Nine. Nine. Okay. So as you're looking around, and they just look like stones. Um, just from the look, do you, are you gonna touch them? Are you gonna like? What you know, gonna... I'll use the, my 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 walking sword as like a kind of move them around a little bit. As you go to try to move one, it kind of shifts, but you see almost like a different like a bright color underneath <laughs> as it shifts again on its own. As it starts to hulk, and you feel, and you can see like vegetation crumbling as this hulking beast. I'm gonna turn around and run. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna run somewhere, and I don't know where and I'm going. You're gonna run straight, okay? And you hear a oh weird gosh. clicking, almost like scream behind you, Ooh. and a thump, 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 thump. And I'm gonna start screaming. Oh, oh. I'm just gonna be like, Mah! and so we jump back to the moment where you hear rustling before you hear. Can we hear them yelling? The screams of Gray. <laughs> That's Gray. <laughs> Are you sure? Perhaps it's some sort of native's cry. As he runs festival. out of the under, uh, underbrush okay. behind Eerie. Should we? So you run Eerie. out and Eerie. Eerie. Eerie, there's something behind us. Uh, I'm going to be like, look, it's Pippin and Lonin. No, no, no. You look behind us. Go. And as you look behind you. I draw my other sword. Do you want us to go with that thing? Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, you Wait. see. We're on the wrong side, right? You see a hulking... Did I put people? Yeah, I did. I put... 
Okay, on, on. You see a huge lumbering crab like <laughs> creature. Almost looks like it's covered in stones with bright colors underneath, with a frothing, bubbling mouth come lumbering out of the, the forest. Giant crab? And lunge towards Gray. Oh my god. Roll oh my initiative. Girl, <laughs> god. <laughs> Do you want to adjust it real quick? I think that paper's in the way. Yes, All it right, is. I'm going to roll a different dice. Oh, nice. Good roll. Oh, not bad. Gray. Gray. Great. Great. Okay. One second, I, I got myself a shift 14. a little bit of stuff just to give everybody more space on the board. Oh, no. Never touch rocks, guys. Yeah, <laughs> how dare you look at those rocks? I was wondering, I was like, where is Gray? I told you. I'm go back to Gray. I was like invisible too. I was so like, did I. Why did you guys always jump to? Are they invisible? Weren't they walking next to each other? What happened? Gray rolled a really bad survival check. He just went on an adventure by himself. Mm-hmm. You know, I Great, lost my on. way like I lost my accent. Okay, so I need oh. my pen. Is that the river on the map? Yes. What's in the middle of it? Water. It was originally not by a river. Oh. <laughs> so I'm not going to erase all of it. Excuse me, this is only the highest quality for our viewers. <laughs> I want a realistic simulation of a river. <laughs> pour some water on it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just pour it on the camera. Okay, so I need uh, 25 to 20. Um, I rolled 21. Oh, wow. There you go, finally. Hey. Finally, excuse me? I saved us from the police. <laughs> uh, now I need 19. Look how well it's turned out. <laughs> yeah, not we're getting good attacked good so by far. Back. Now I need 19 to 15. Yep. Well, guys. I'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll now I need uh, 14 to 10. I got a 14. Okay. I'll let you know. We'll get back to you. Now I need 9 to 5. 8? 7. <laughs> Boy, okay, wait, Four. so... Whoa. Uh, so... Oh my... Not good. <laughs> not, not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Well... I hope we okay. like our seafood. So, Pippin. DM, okay. how, how deep is that water? Like, upon We don't know yet. You, I, I'll, I'll let you know on your turn. Okay. Um, I'll have you roll, like, a, a roll, but it won't be an action. Can we see? First of all, we're looking over there. Can we see behind them? We're like, oh my god. Like, how Yeah, you know? literally saw, like, this hulking <laughs> creature, like, crash and break through the undergrowth. Okay. Uh, and we can see Grey, like, darting towards us, I'm assuming, at this point. Yeah, he's already run and talked to Eerie for a second before this happened. Okay. But it is Pippin's turn. Talk to the native. Pippin. Okay, I am going to go, oh my goodness, Gray, look out! And I'm going to uh, reach into my pocket and pull out a vial of acid and get ready to throw it if this crab gets close to Gray and hold my action. What's the range on that? Uh, my range is for acid splash. I'm pretty sure it's okay. 60 feet, but I will tell you. Yeah, double check. If it's 60, it's fine. I just need to know. It is 60 feet, yes. Okay. Um, so I'm going to wait until this creature gets closer to gray. Um, do I have enough range? Yep. Good. Okay. Um, and then as my bonus action, I'm going to uh, whistle and send uh, Tenaculum flying over the river towards them. Tenaculum wasn't with you. Oh, I <gasps> sent him to look. You did. Yeah. No. So Tenaculum is not oh with you at the no. moment. He is scouting. Okay, then that's all I can do. Okay. Next up. <coughs> and as it steps in, you can make your attack roll. Okay. <coughs> oh, not so good. I rolled a 16 to hit. 16 misses. Ooh. So it like my bottle of acid. It hits. The river. It hits the shell, but it kind of just dribbles off. Okay, as it comes up to you, behind you, Gray, and you can feel this force behind you as it reaches out and blown up. And you see this huge claw reach towards to grab at Gray. So the giant gray crab. Yes, yeah, a very stony looking crab. Not oh. 20. Not 20. <laughs> oh, I was almost dead. Now it's going to happen again. Oh god, this is going to be real bad. We almost started. Does it have enough reach thing. to hit both or no? Use divine intervention. Oh no. Oh, how much damage is this thing? We just had a hard fight. Um, that's 31 <laughs> what? bludgeoning damage. <laughs> As this giant claw. It was a crit, remember? So it was it's oh a lot of damage. God. 31 damage. As it reaches up and hits you with this claw and scoops you up. 
And you are now grappled. So it's kind of like, <laughs> sweet. <laughs> Mr. Krabs. Sweet. <laughs> sweet. <laughs> and with its second claw, we'll reach out towards Eerie. Oh Can my god. Uh... No, it's not your turn. <laughs> Do I have my spells back? Yes. Okay, okay. Yeah, you guys all have all your passed out fever dreams. We're all it all counted as a long rest. Oh man. So oh, um, that's an eighteen to hit. Oh yeah. Well, that hits. Okay. What is this beast? <laughs> that's a Seriously. crab. Um, that is a fourteen. Damage. Yes, bludgeoning damage. Oh, as you are also God. scooped up, in its second claws, it's like. Towering on the other side of the river, holding both Eerie and Gray. How much damage did it do to Gray the first time? 31. 31. That would have almost dropped me completely. Yeah. Well, it crit. That just too. took half of my HP. Oh my god. That's your condition. Okay. And next up is Gray. As you're dangling in the claws. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, one second. The condition ends if the grappler is incapacitated. How do I get out of this? So you can test it with an athletics check or acrobatics, and I have the DC for myself. But it's your action. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna misty step. Oh. Oh yeah, you can do that. I'm just gonna try to misty step to the side to like one of the legs, and then just start hacking at his mm-hmm. legs. So you kind of misty step underneath. Oh, this can I try to get on the what side? Yeah. Yeah. What Wait, the if he's uh, yeah. thirty feet, but if he if if she's grappled, does that count as? Uh, Flanking? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I'll grab one of the legs then. What does Misty Step mean? It's Misty like Step is a spell. It. So, so Gray mean? disappears almost like few go like it almost looks like he like melds into the claw of the crab yeah. as shadows as he like melts through and like a like a streak of black. Then he pops up behind the crab with his sword. And then um, I'm going to uh, so that's my bonus action to Misty Step. Yep. And then I'm gonna use my attack action to make Two attacks. Yeah, as so you do. Three she teleported. For attacking this thing? I guess so. Um, it just almost killed him. <laughs> literally almost friends. killed me. No, I'll run away from it. Oh. <laughs> You're on the other side of the river. Yeah, we're sure. fine. You guys just swim over. Um, <laughs> that's like a... Okay, 11 to hit? 11 misses. Oh my god. Second one. That's an 11. Miss again? Another eleven? Yeah, what? Like Double fours. Oh my god! Yeah, that misses again. And then uh, Yodi, Yodi bonus action. Okay. okay. Next up is Eerie. Great. Uh, Great. <laughs> What's her HP? Twenty-eight or something. Mine? Yeah. Thirty-three. Oh yes, you're not traveled anymore. Uh, I was yeah. like, why are you giving this? Back? I might get it back. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. Who knows? Or who knows? Maybe you'll drop. I'll use possibility. Can I step with the wind? Will that do anything? What's up with the wind do? It gives you more jumping speed. Oh, never mind. Yeah. And it lets you disengage. But that No, you have to use your action to break the grapple. But you can still attack and stuff. You well, can attack I mean, while you're grappling. Yeah, I'm just gonna kind of like try and swing my quarterstaff at, um, like, how far is it holding me from its body? It's like, you're, it, like, it's like kind of far away. It's like holding you up like this. And it's like, so Whoa. can I try and. <laughs> Is she in the big claw? <laughs> I'm I'm picturing, they're not. They're both the same size. Okay, I'm picturing so. the crab from Moana. Yes, <laughs> but giant. Well, I can't sing it. Oh yeah, <laughs> they don't copyright strike me. Yeah, uh, yeah. I guess I'm gonna try and just like smash at its claw. Okay. With my, uh, stuff. Okay, so roll to hit. And I'm imagining not one. Not one by the way, you really got the way you were doing it. I was imagining one hand. Okay. Yeah, that's that's just the way you did this. Yeah, you get the crit. Yeah, so you can crit. So double your um. <laughs> Go four and then one. Four plus four, so eight plus, plus eight. Oh wow, sixteen! Nice. nice. Okay. As you smash, and you can see a small crevice, we like a small crack, like, not very big, but almost like it's like you definitely like did some good Crack-tional. damage to it, and it screeches, and more bubbles pour out of its mouth. It doesn't let go though. No. Can I get, still be, do I get a bonus action? Though? You can still attack. You have two okay, attacks in the turn. Again. Yeah, it's still your attack action. Natural one. No. <laughs> no. As you go to hit again, no. confidence surging through your veins, you hit and you accidentally punch it with your hand. Yeah. And your quarter stop goes tumbling. No! I knew that was going to happen. Are you unconscious? No, no. 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 She, she did it at one. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. 
Uh, so then for my bonus action, I guess I'll just, uh, like... Slapping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I punch out it with my fists. Okay. Okay. Punch at it with on. your fist. 26. Oh, that hits. <laughs> it's just one or the other. It can't be in the middle. No, I, I would do amazing okay. or horrible. Nine. Nine? Okay. Oh, wow. And then once again, you punch, and this one it doesn't do the damage, but it actually moves. Like, you, the force of your punch moves the, like, causes the claw to, like, shift a little bit. Okay, yeah. With you in it. Do I fall? No. <laughs> Okay, oh next up is Loman. All right, I'm going for the arrows because I can shoot this fire. Yes, this you can. Mm-hmm. Perfect, perfect position for me and you. Yeah, so we're definitely in range, right? So actually, let's... to be fair, this is exactly how you want to do it. Did exactly... you hold your action? He did. He, 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 he used his reaction. Yeah, I, yeah right. he did that first, but he missed. Okay. okay. Yeah. Thank you, first, though. I forgot. For asking. I didn't even... First arrow shot. Let's question. do this thing. Okay. A barbed arrows, please. Barbed arrows sounds good. Oh, natural twenty. Oh, wow. Wow, is there? Spicy! Spicy! spicy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go, baby. <laughs> so, am I rolling both my damage tw- twice? You're rolling your damage side twice. But not my magic am- uh, damage. Level. No, you, not, I don't think that yeah. is it's, it's all dice damage. All not ability, dice. All dice, not ability modifiers. But I'm not the DM. Mm, okay, when you smite, you could declare smite before the crit normally, right? No, after a crit. Then it would double the magic damage as well. Yeah. So double all your dice. All my dice. All right, six. Okay. Uh, plus three, so nine. Okay. Plus. Uh, two. Plus so plus five. Eleven. No, you don't add the you don't no. add the bonus twelve. Oh, sorry. No. So, so eleven. Yeah. And then my two d six, right? Um, and you do 46. Yeah. And are you doing, I'm imagining, you, well, you didn't say what you're I'm going to try to, I'm not going to do, bursting would be really stupid because he's, he's holding somebody. It's up to you. I'm not, I'll just do grasping. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's me. Six. Oh six. God, six. Six plus one. Seven. Three. Ten. One. Oh, okay. oh, very good. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you do another 11 damage. Ooh, what does it look like? So as you fire, the barbed arrow spins in the air, and you almost hear a little, like a little whistle as it, right into the foaming mouth of the crab. And as it as it hits, it kind of recoils back, and at, you can see that the bubbles are now mixed in with like barbed vines that are pouring down out of its mouth and rooting to the ground. Cool. <laughs> well, well good thing we have another uh, another, another attack. Another attack. <laughs> fire again. Uh, not good. Ten. Ten? Okay, and it's kind of... Confidence once again. <laughs> spirals through your veins, and it goes, and it just goes really high. Yeah, you're like, this time I'm going to do a trick shot. Right. <laughs> um, can I use my action shows? Sure, yes, sure. you can. All right, let's do it. Okay, and what, two more attacks. Two more? Yeah, he action surged. Wow. Is that no! Oh, what? what? What is going on? Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Look at that dice. Wow, this is like the fifth or 20th of the round. Keeping track of oh my god. That's so bad. Literally. Yeah. We're making it uh, six, six uh, piercing. Okay. Are you going to do another magic arrow? Yeah. And then uh, plus two. So, so eight. <laughs> yeah. And then how much? Made? Same same, same uh, air, type of arrow. Okay, so another barbed arrow comes flying. Where do you want to aim for this one? Uh, same spot. I want to like, basically like... In- uh, you know, take his whole head, like, and so. And his head's kind of like it's kind of like part of its body. It doesn't really have a separate head from its torso. It's, like, it's a crab, right? Yeah. But it, like, you can fire into like its gullet. It's oh, a king okay. crab. What's your damage? What's your damage? Oh, ask me. Three. Three. Five. So three plus five. Yeah. Eight. Four. Four. Two. So six. Sixteen. Holy crap! Yeah. Well, no, fourteen. Sorry. You still have one more Four attack. Time. This is. Can yeah, as it me. fires once again into the mouth of the crab. No, I get on action surge, you only get one attack. Nope, you still get it's two attacks. Attack. Every attack action oh, is shit. two attacks. Oh, no way. So, if, wait, let me describe what's happening first. Okay. <laughs> it fires into its mouth, and this time it, um, you can see, eerie, you can see this. As the second arrow goes in, you can see it pierce up through the back of the crab's head. Oh, and you can see the vines trailing down behind it in gray. You can see the vines start to come trail down. Let's go again. Spicy meatball. 
Spicy meatball. Oh, 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 spaghetti. That one. Natural oh, one. Every oh, natural. Oh, roll another attack roll to see if you hit Eerie. Oh, no. <gasps> oh. Another like dice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Natural 15 20. plus. Yeah, do you <laughs> Yeah. Because I know you're over class, and oh, the plus is high enough. This cannot be magic. This, this is not a magic arrow. No, it can't be. You used both your magic arrows already. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to use my ultimate exploding yeah. arrow. Seven piercing damage. <laughs> so eerie. As alone and again, once again, tries to trick shot after an amazing yeah. hit. The arrow nice. kind of dings <laughs> off. The arrow dings and hits <laughs> off the crab side and bounces and kind of hits you in the thigh. Oh my god. Ah! Great work. Yeah. Hey. You're hitting, ah, how much you, you're hitting the local. How much damage did I do altogether? Oh my gosh. You're I added it. I did so much. Um, you did like. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. So Eerie hit it once and then you only you hit it the rest of the time? I punched it. You did punch and it. I hit it. So you did, I think you did 44 damage. Holy shit. Yeah. Holy crap. 44 damage? That would have knocked me unconscious. Yeah. And Ooh, plus. Delicious dinner. Oh, delicious oh yeah, dinner. we're going to eat this crab out. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Where, well, you don't saying? realize it's eerie, though. You just hit this weird alien creature. In the yeah. And she screamed, ow, loaded. <laughs> <laughs> the river's so loud. Yeah, we don't hear that. We don't hear Whose that. Whose turn is it now? It is now Pippin's. Oh, 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 it's me. Okay, I am going to reach into my vest and pull out a little like needle syringe and I'm gonna throw it at the crab and I'm casting Melf's Acid Arrow. Oh, oh. I haven't seen you do this so before. Oh. Nice, that was almost a two, man. I know it was. <laughs> um, that is a 26 to hit. 26 misses and no it hits. <laughs> okay, good. Um, Gray, I'm having a moment here. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, so uh, I'm going to hit, and I'm going to do, oh, I can't see my dice, four, plus one, plus two, plus one, plus one. Wow. Four, two, one, one. How much is that? Eight. That's eight. Plus five. That's fine. So I get to add my intelligence You do, because you're an alchemist. 13. That's cool. 13. So describe what your arrow looks like. So me. it's a syringe. Like, I'm throwing, like, a needle. And it's full of, like, a bubbling black acid. And where, so where, where are you like, aiming? Uh, and I want to hit um, its arm that Grey is being held on Grey, to. Grey, Grey, Grey's not in there. Oh, okay. Then in I'll hit the arm that Eerie... Eerie. The strange the alien creature. <laughs> yeah, the arm is in. And it, and when it hits, the, the syringe is going to like inject the acid into the crowd. So That's as cool. you throw, it hits. And it actually goes, and you can feel its arm start to tense on your Eerie. Almost like it's going to make another attack. Before it stops. Uh-huh. And Lonan and um, Pippin, you can see across a black, oozy sludge start to slop off of its arm as the arm falls and crashes to the ground Ooh. as it continues going up and it just collapses into the this, whole crowd? this, and this husk. Does it and fall can, on top of Eerie? No, the arm falls and then it collapses down and you can see this black sludge pouring out of the one side Ew. of its body. Not edible. Okay. Yeah, and you guys, and it's dead. It's Dude, we annihilated this, man. Oh, we did. Good job, guys. Yeah, wow. I thought you all you guys... It annihilated me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we can go uh, back to normal? Great. Uh, Pip in. Pip in. Who are you with? Like a, Get over here. What's it called? I'm going to yell out. Like it's I eerie. Know. One day. Oh, hold on. I have an idea. Um, Lonan, wait here just a second. And I'm going to pull out a little one of my little elixir vials. I'm gonna like bite the cork out and spit it, and then drink the elixir, and then I'm gonna take my shirt off, and then I'm gonna sprout two little dragonfly wings, <laughs> and I'll be like one second, and then I'm gonna like, <laughs> and I'm really slow because I can only travel ten feet at a time, and I'm gonna slowly fly over the river. <laughs> oh, that yes, is you're no longer grapple. So you're good. like struggling to get out of this like kind of rigor mortis okay. claw. I'm gonna try to help. And you. I'm gonna okay. land. <sighs> And by the time Pippin gets over, it's only a couple, it's only a little bit that it takes for you to get over, because it's not very wide yeah. of a river. Um, um, the strange, it, you see Grey has helped the strange white creature mm -hmm. out of the claw. Grey! I'm so glad you're okay! Grey, are you okay? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm looking pretty rough. Hello, stranger. Welcome Pippin. to, we are welcome to your beautiful forest. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna grab Pippin real cl- real quick, and then I'm just gonna pull him aside. Okay. I right. only have ten minutes. Come on, hang on. I'm gonna fly you I, across. Wait, wait. Did, look, look at the clothes. Look at the clothes. It, that that that's eerie. I mean, I'd be like padding around looking for my uh, quarter stuff. I'll yeah, and it's kind of like you have to like shift the claw. But it, it's actually fairly light now that it's like empty. But you you like you touch the sl- the sludge right. a little bit. It hurts, so you right. have to be careful. Gray, what, what do you mean? That. That that thing is eerie. I'm gonna look over at Eerie. Or at Where this. did you take us? What happened after that fight? We need to get across the river. But we, we need to bring I'm her. I'm gonna st- straighten up and be like, I'm glad that you're okay. Why am I the only one that looks weird? This is peculiar. She she knows she knows us. Where's Lonan? Lonan's across the river. Can I hear them kind of talk, like, mu- like muttering? They're not like, are you guys like, how loud are you no, talking? Hold on you one second. You can see them talking, but you can't hold hear on, what they're saying. Hold on one second, and I'm going to just like, fly back up. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to fly back across the river. Lonan, come on. <laughs> and you hold up like a baby. Yeah. Uh, well, just, like, just do a strength check for me. To you see drop them in the middle of the Oh. <laughs> It's ankle. Oh, not good. Is it uh, the river? Three. Three. And you're struggling. Like, by the time you think you're doing a really good job, but, like, you're, like, waist deep in the water. And it's just pulling you. It's like, just dragging you across. You're, like, I'm like so, <laughs> she's, like, dunking your head accidentally every so often. But you do make it across. Okay. Um, but like you're like soaked. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I'm just like like a dog, like a wet dog. So yeah, he like, just has that wet dog stink. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, gonna land like, nice. and my I'm gonna land and my wings are gonna like fall off like leaves. And they like they're... shrivel up and like yeah. I'm gonna and wa- the, and I'm gonna put my shirt back on. When and you walk notice... up to the beast, I'm just gonna like kick the beast like to make sure it's is it like st- it's, st- it's dead right? It's not yeah, it doesn't move. Okay. Uh, Gray. Yes. Um, Lonan's here. We're good. Um, Lonan. And I'm um, gonna put my back to like the, the <laughs> yeah. Oh. I'm gonna be like, kind of cr- I'm gonna, actually going to just sit down and be crying. Oh, like no, okay. no sound, but just tears, kind of like streaming, because I'm just like. So, um, Gray is telling us that that is not a native to this strange new plane. That is in fact our friend, Eerie, Dark. Looking over my shoulder, what does she look like? She is this tall, like small. Thin white creature, well, with the silvery sheen to his skin instead of the typical kind of rosy red underneath, with um, not super long white hair that is kind of stands up on its own and like almost like Einsteiny, but I imagine more of like an afro, mm-hmm. like with a styled like tube afro. Yeah. Okay. Um, with pointed ears and a small upturned nose, but l- like eyes that are like almost like double the size of like a regular human's eyes that are. The pure, pure black. Eerie. And the right now, yeah. full of tears. Eerie. No. I'm, please go ahead. Uh, come, come here. I want no, to. No, no. Before you approach us, what was the town that we just left from? Um, Von Jasper. Eerie. Did right. did Lonan kill the king? Oh yeah, yeah. Lonan. <laughs> That's not the time to talk. <laughs> oh, That's an important question. She knew. She knew. I She's think real. so. <laughs> I think so too. Um, I'm really scared. Can Eerie. I tell that it's Eerie at this point from her cries? Um, you can both her inside. <laughs> yeah, she cries so much. <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> sobs, the voice is a little yeah, different, but the sob is like... 15. Oh, the yeah. tears are taking we, the same path. We're both 15. You, you, can, um, you can tell that sure. Eerie is being genuine and so is Grey. As soon as yeah. I notice, like, I... So, like, I, as I'm looking at it, I'm looking at it, and then I realize... Like, something unlocked inside of me, I'm like, it is Eerie. And I've been, like, rude this entire time. And she's, like, been in, like, a claw's hand. I mean, a, a thing, like, I'm a, a claw. <laughs> you, there's actually an arrow, like, stuck in her thigh. I kneel yeah. down. I kneel is down your to blood? her. What color is your blood? It's blue. <gasps> oh. I kneel down to her with one knee, and I grab her, like, hand. Eerie, I'm so sorry. I did not know it was you. What is going on here? And I'm gonna pull my hand away because I don't Perhaps know some here. sort of. Ooh, 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 she pulled her hand away from yours. Did she? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Perhaps <laughs> some sort of planar mutation while we crossed through the portals. Rule or okay, not sure. Where are we? Natural one. <laughs> you think that is very true. That's yeah. something that happened. I think that that is probably the most likely thing. Hmm. Perhaps she was altered. Maybe, maybe, perhaps there was some sort of worm on you when we passed through the portal and you fused. How come I'm the only one? What do uh, you mean, like a bad, space worm? Bad luck. There are space worms, yes, 
They're interplanar worms, and they, like, devour you if you stay too far between the worlds. Oh my. Perhaps she was influenced by one, and they've merged, and now she's some sort of worm lady. I mean, I don't feel different. I just look Is different. she like this forever? Most likely, I would say yes. Well, you're... <laughs> what about your one-year quest? Was this to cause by your... Combining of the two bags, by any chance? Uh, probably, I'd say, or passing through the portals. I'm, I'm not gonna be sure. obvious, getting obviously frustrated. <laughs> like, just like, I'm gonna be like, I would like Can to. You stop talking about me like I'm not sitting right here! <laughs> I would. Uh, my spirit? apologies. Could I collect a blood sample? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can I do some experiments on you while you're there? Pippin, you're being very insensitive. This is fascinating! Mm, yes, but I think we should. How about we find out where can we are? Can you maybe first? help me? I have a. Arrow sticking out of my leg. Oh, that is my, my apologies. I'm gonna pull it. I'm gonna <laughs> roll a d4 of damage because it's a barbed arrow. <laughs> because you did say you were rolling barbed. Because, and the reason why I'm doing it is because she pulled away from my hand when she was like, <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god. Mine, so d4, not d6. d4, oh, not d4. d4. Oh, good god. Good. Three. 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 So you take three slashing damage as your leg wow. rips open. <laughs> Wow, I'm at nine. Oh, oh my god, I thought that was gonna drop you. Oh no. <laughs> so funny. Uh, Eerie, Eerie, hold on, and I'm gonna walk over to Eerie and I'm gonna pull out my healing elixir and uh, it's got like a little like Febreze spray and I'm gonna spray <laughs> I'm gonna spray her leg. I'm gonna spray her leg and spray yeah. her <laughs> Ooh, what's a smell like? What's it smell not like? Grease. It's not yeah. Grease. Lavender. yeah, it's lavender. <laughs> Lavender, but also like bacon. New car <laughs> But also, lavender. of course, it would be a little bacony. So um, I'm gonna spray that. Right. I'm gonna spray that. Um, Is it? Are you casting a spell or using a potion? I'm using my healing elixir. Oh, okay. So that is um, eight plus five, thirteen. So you heal thirteen. Thank you. Oh yeah, you just have disgusting healing. I sure do. Disgusting. Thank you. Disgusting. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna kind of like spray down Eerie and check her over. But also I'm going to um also I'm going to be like Lonan, give me that arrow. Like with the blood sample. It's covered in blood. And I'm gonna snap off the arrow. There's a little bit it, of gore on it, like yeah. a little bit of flesh. I'm gonna snap off the arrowhead and put it in a vial and cork it. But so as he sprayed like over, it has it, there's a small line that is still a little fresh blood. But it is mostly healed. It's like, it would almost be like you scratched it at this okay. point. It's not like a bad anymore. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to stand up and uh, kind of like s- s- sniffles yeah. away. Be like, where are we? <laughs> um, I am not sure yet. We're on some, um, some sort of uh, plane that is no longer the material plane. Yeah, but what should we do now? Uh, probably make camp and perhaps eat some food. You guys, upon hearing the word food, all of your stomachs at once. Looking at this big giant crab thing, is it like a crab or like, does the, the goo that's coming out of it? It's only on the one side. Okay. Oh, we can eat the other side. Shall we? Maybe. Shall we? <laughs> <laughs> shall yeah. Shall we? I think it's likely <laughs> edible. Well, perhaps you can try eating it first. You seem to be... Don't be mean that to That is eerie. very rude. Well, does she look like an alien? Would you be happy if I was poisoned? No, I'm just saying that perhaps maybe you being trans- Perhaps you should eat it first because you're the liar. Ooh. Ooh. Well. Oh, great. Um, we <laughs> do- Enter conflict. Oh, no. Guys, let's all have a seat. Yeah, uh, yeah. I- I'll make a fire. Yeah. No, um, for one. Okay, we- go roll survival. We-, this happens. we do need to discuss. Ooh. It's going to be a good fire. Um, I like the idea that Granger just like power walks away. <laughs> He's like, make fire. <laughs> um, Lo- Lonan, Lonan, we do need to discuss um, what happened back on the material plane. I think. What does it matter now? We need to find out how to get out of this area. You're right, but it also matters. We can worry about more than one thing at once. I've There's... told you guys plenty of times that I did not murder the king. I don't. I don't need to explain to you. Lonan, just how... I'm familiar with the Zone of Truth spell, and I know that you are not able to tell a lie within the Zone of Truth spell, and it appeared that you were unable to tell, to say that you didn't kill the Merchant King, because that was a lie. I'm gonna go to Lonan, I mean, I'm gonna go to Pippin, and I'm gonna grab his hand, and I'm gonna look him directly in the eye, 
I did not kill the merchant. Or I did not kill the king. I, okay. There's no zone of truth. Yeah, here. I don't, there's no zone of truth. I do what you want to me. Uh, We're not gonna do anything to what you, Lonan. Do? I just want to sit here. Lonan, Lonan, here, eat some crab, and <laughs> it's gonna be okay. We just want to have a talk. Ask me any questions you like. I'll answer them. <laughs> With a lie. So are you butchering the crab? Um, so as we're talking, I'm gonna be like trying to crack the crab <laughs> shell. Like, are you <laughs> proficient in cook tools? Yeah, yeah. Oh, we'll um, intelligence check with proficiency. Uh, not great, but let's see what I roll. Um, this is gonna be uncooked as hell. Uh, 12. 12? Okay. It's you sweet. managed to cut open the crab, and while you're looking over it, you actually notice that on its back, pressed down into its flesh, that there's like insect like wings oh. on its back. It appeared this creature could fly. This creature? How big is this thing? Oh, it's like giant. Come to think like... of it, do the, did the other insects that I seen, were they all, did they all have wings as well? Um, you only saw the one beetle, but you can imagine the beetle would have wings. Is it like the caterpillar on, uh, on Bugs Life? <laughs> <laughs> I can fly! <laughs> no. <laughs> it's like proportional, you just didn't see them before because they're pressed down to its body. Uh, can we loot it? Just kidding. Like, how much coins? Can we loot the crab? Pippin's already looting the crab. Yeah. yeah. So I'm I'm trying to like I'm breaking. I'm taking out some crab flesh. Um, Lonan, you don't have to be upset. I'm upset because we're not the police. Well, we're not in jail anymore. I need to ask you a question though. Why would you guys break up and break me out of the jail if you did not believe me? No, we because we didn't know that yeah, you it's... were possibly guilty until we were in the situation, and also you're my friend. Exactly. So, would the friends not lie to each other? Lonan, I, I, I understand what you're saying, and I want to believe you, but I am familiar with how magic works to a certain extent, and I know how that spell works that you were affected by. Um, so, so I guess my question, Rob, is this. When I was under the spell, I was trying to say what I was trying to say, but I was unable to, right? You able to say so, it. in my eyes, like, like, what does that tell me? Like, th like, would that be like, I was trying my best to say... You know that you were magically inhibited from saying what you were saying, but you were able to say other things. Right. But you weren't able to say that you didn't. You were able to say your name. I was trying to tell uh, my side of the story, but the spell would not let me. I that like, means what you were trying to say wasn't true. But I'm trying to tell you that I did not kill the king. I don't know what to tell you. I know that the spell told me. Gray. Gray. Yeah. Gray. <laughs> no, in this time, Gray has already actually come back with an armful of strange, like, fibrous material. And it started a fire. Hey, great. Um, here, here's some crab I've harvested. Oh, yes. I'll put that in the pot. Um, Does it look like some pot? <laughs> <laughs> great. Are you, able to, are you able to cast the Zone of Truth spell? <sighs> maybe after a good rest, I could uh, maybe attempt to. I don't know if I could maybe time? brew some know. sort of truth serum. Lonan, are you open to being drugged? Feel free. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more than willing. I mean, we I, could just I try to that, take a nap. You know? I feel like we might be wasting lots of time here in the, out in, in the wilderness that just get attacked by a giant crab. But what else are we going to do? Not be in an open area, possibly? Are we going to try to look? I've walked all over this place. It's nothing but forest. Yeah, you guys have been walking, each of you have been walking for at Hour. least a few hours now. At least two. Perhaps, I'm not sure if there's any sentient races within this plane. Uh, it does not look entirely familiar to me, but I think that we should probably rest and discuss what our plans are. Mm-hmm. Well, eat some crab. And don't worry, Lonan, even if you did kill the Merchant King, it's not like we can turn you into any authorities. Yeah, we'll just find another crab to turn you into. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Lonan, <laughs> it's okay. If you killed the Merchant King, you can tell us. Right, everybody? This is an honesty circle right now. <laughs> well, right now it's an honesty triangle because Lonan isn't being honest. <laughs> Once again, I, did, I deny everything. I did not kill the king. I'm going to smile a little bit. <laughs> I'm trying to hold back my laugh. Yeah, you're like snickering like at when it, the crab sizzles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All my inner monologue is just like... Bah! Bah! <laughs> Um, but so, I guess shall we eat them? Yeah. You might yeah. cook me some of that we nice crab then? Yeah. Uh, Eerie, how are you feeling? Uh, terrible. Do you feel like space wormy? No, I just feel scared and confused and wondering why, I, why me? Uh, mm. that's fair. Uh, alright, time for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> or breakfast? I'm not really sure what time of day it is. Does this, the sky changed at all? No. There's no sun either? 
<laughs> Nothing you can see. The days are 72 hours. So what is it what like, like the light situation outside? It's the same as it was two hours ago. So just like... like, like it's like it's a fairly cloudy day, but the clouds are moving very quickly. So like the amount of like... But the light has stayed like consistent. It's like a like a noon day on a like a part like a like a like cloudy. Yeah. yeah. Can you explain planes to people? <coughs> uh, maybe that like don't understand. Like, is it like are we on the same area? We're just on like a different like timeline kind of thing, or are we on a whole different planet? You don't know anything about the planes. Actually, roll a or can we? I can't check. Oh, nice. Uh, twenty. Twenty. Mm, you don't know anything about the planes. <laughs> it was a really high DC. Oh. Lonan, would you like a lesson? I'm just so confused. Are we still on the same land that we were before? Or are we in a completely separate... So, uh, yeah, basically, don't... we're on another universe. Well, he's saying this. I'm looking at like the, like, uh, the sky. If you're familiar with the, 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 the magical properties of worlds, there is more than one world. Right. Uh, for example, Grey summoned forth a dark horse. Okay. Um, from a portal. Most likely that horse resides on a different plane. Probably something related to the deity that he worships, I would assume. Um, certain spells can summon uh, elementals from certain planes, that sort of thing. We basically traveled from our ma material world where we live, where there's like cities and people and stuff, and we've been transported to somewhere completely different, and as you can see looking around us, very alien. The question I have is, if we were to reverse what we've done before, could we then return back to where we were? I'm not able to reverse what we did because I can only recreate one bag of holding. Hmm. So we're kind of limited. We don't even know if people are on this plane. Uh, I'm not sure if there's people. And uh, if uh, this crab could have been a person, I'm not sure. Looking around this like crab body, is there any indication of them like having clothing on or anything like that? <laughs> <laughs> Was he wearing crab? He had a loincloth. Crab feet. feet. <laughs> We're all investigating. <laughs> It was just like, oh my god, like, there's like a name tag that says, like, Krusty Krab. <laughs> He's got his little crab beard. He's his laptop. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, good. Investigation? Uh, 10. What uh, no, okay. No, you don't see any clothing. You see, like, a scrap of moss <laughs> that looks like it could be, like, a shoe. Okay. Hmm. Um, we should be on the other side, if that's okay. Well, the map's not up. <laughs> <laughs> um, so... Uh, What's the plan, everyone? I'm thinking that we should probably rest up. I don't know if it's going to get dark soon, and I haven't seen any sort of sun or astral bodies. Um, but if we rest, I'll be able to brew up some more elixirs that might be able to help us in the morning. The, the truth elixirs is what you're referring to? I don't know if I can make that right now. Greg, can you cast Zone of Truth? Uh, like I said, maybe tomorrow. Is that a yes or a no? I mean, I, I think I can do it. I'm, I've never tried to do it before. Divine magic is very frustrating. I'm not going anywhere. You guys can feel free to do this at any moment. He needs to sleep to prepare his spell. Well, let's find someone nice to Lonan, say. you seem hostile. Do you want to discuss this? I'm rather prepared? agitated. I feel that if I were to go around killing people, when have you seen me, you know, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't understand. That I've never been, uh, I've never lied to you guys. I've never given any reason for you to... You, know, believe you that lied to us for the first half of our. Journey. Did not lie to you. I just never told you why I was that being. That is a lie. No, sorry, and we don't know the truth. A lie of omission. So is there nothing? Is there anything that you're not possibly telling us? And I look Absolutely at every. Absolutely not. There's nothing. Is she being serious? As Eri says, she <laughs> just she's, like she's an alien lady. She's a random alien lady. You're not telling us. Absolutely not. Like, <laughs> your eyelids blue yeah, sideways. Like, <laughs> 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 her gills flutter. <laughs> she just dies into the water. I don't have gills. Okay. Thank you. She has a breathing chest and just open it. <laughs> I don't have gills. <laughs> no, nothing that ever happens. She says no. That like I look at her. Is she lying? Uh, you can roll inside. Uh, eleven. Eleven. I'm not lying. Just roll. Um, just roll a dice for me. She's not hiding anything. Roll an intimidation roll for me because you're you're being like you're being like 
Uh, Twelve. Twelve. You are having a. You just know that she's hostile. Okay. Because you are being very hostile Peace towards Levin right now. Peace. How's the, I turn over. Stop. How's I, the crab taste? I turn over to Gray. <laughs> what about you, Gray? Do you have anything to hide? Lonin. No, let's might as well get it out of the open now. Oh. You guys I have, don't know how to handle situations. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, I feel like this is a very toxic environment right now. <laughs> I feel like we should all just like take it easy. I mean, like, airing out dirty laundry is, like, one thing, but, I mean, I think we should take things in stride one I, at a time. Are you going to ask me if I have anything to say? I already know that there's, you had something to hide, but you wouldn't tell me when we were going to the Oka Academy. I so. mean, I feel like some people just need to keep things to themselves sometimes. Thank you, exactly. Fred. That's what I was trying to mention before. So but you I are mean, keeping something to yourself. What do you have to tell us? What nothing. do you have to keep to yourself? There's that nothing line? to hide. I've explained numerous times that but I did not kill the king. I mean, if, if it's something that'll get other people like us killed... I feel like that might be something that that's, is like a, a whole warning. I think that's fair. As a group, I would say if anyone has any secrets that they've kept that might possibly put us at danger, maybe yeah. a free space, we'll all close our eyes, say those secrets now. <laughs> yeah, and like, but like anything that would get us killed, decapitated, like sent to another plane like this. Oh. Yeah. It'd be like... Okay, I'm ready. I possibly might be planning experiments that could maybe hurt some of us in the future. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm gonna nudge. <laughs> <laughs> I did not kill the king. I'm going to tell you over and over again. His eyes aren't even closed. <laughs> well, I did not kill the king. <laughs> I have no idea what's I going thought on. these were like confessions. We were yeah. admitting things. Yeah. Not if you have, if you have a secret to tell, tell us the secret. Yeah. So that you would say, I, say I killed the king. I'm gonna, everyone, <laughs> close your eyes. <laughs> I'm gonna tell the story. Okay. Wait. Should we wait for the zone of truth? No. We'll let him tell the story. Okay. Then we'll do him again. Yeah. So, <clears throat> imagine like so. It, the story starts where. Uh, it's nice and thundering outside, and there's a <laughs> you're alone in voice. Because you're telling you're it in alone in voice? Yeah, because you're telling it in person. Oh yeah, yeah. You're, you're, nice you're saying all of these words to them. It was a stormy night. I was in the castle, going about my business, making sure that everyone uh, of the royalty was fed. Suddenly, I started to hear things in the other room, shouting, screaming, as the servants ran across the hallway. It seemed as if. I've never heard things screech like this before. Running into the room, people running out of the castle as fast as they can. And there I was, face to face, with the dead Merchant King. It seemed as if they might have been able to be saved if somebody wanted to save them. I knew at that moment I had to leave, because I, would probably, I was the only one there inside the castle at the time. I started to approach out the walls of the room. I started to approach out the walls of the castle. And that is when the guards uh, shouted at me to stop. I continued to run as fast as I could in my wolf form. And I ran and ran and ran until I ran into, the, into you guys uh, along the way. And that is where my story Can lies. I roll insight? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, everybody can so, roll insight if they want. Yeah. I won't. <laughs> Pippin's taking out space value. Nine. Nine? Yeah. What is this, Insight? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, seven. Seven. Um, you guys are having a hard time reading Lonan. You've heard a similar story. You've heard him talk about this before mm-hmm. on the night of um, the Sea of Stars at the festival when he awkwardly ran out of the tent after hearing the poem. Mm-hmm. Um, so you know that details that he said are true, but you can't help but notice that he, I don't know, he's being vague. You think he might be being a little so bad. why did you, you run? Said, you said that he looked like he could be saved, but you did nothing? She. 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 No, it looked as if somebody could have saved them. I, I don't know exactly. You, you could have saved them. I'm not a healer. I was a... I was you some, could I, have called for But why did you run? I ran because everybody else was running away. He thought he well, would that's have been. Nice. He thought he would have been uh, framed for it. If no, he if you tried to save them. them. If you're running, you'd be framed for it. If I was caught there, the you gods could would have saved their life. You don't. Are, are, I, you, I don't think you understand how it works there. You Things, work there. No, you. Do you understand how the trials would have went if we would have been caught inside of Kadath? It's it's even worse inside of this area uh, with the castles as well too. 
probably. You, they don't. They you don't. Rather, it's, you would rather it, your beloved Merchant King die than try to save their life and risk. No, I was sad. I was sad the entire time that I left. But, and but being, but being at the side of uh, you know the side of the crime, it's it's not. Yeah. Idea. Well, I think what Lonan is trying to say is that Lonan, being a mere servant, might have taken uh, the blunt of the damage, as in like they would have. Uh, found someone easy to accuse uh, to because they were very upset and maybe had would have thrown him under the carriage you could say that could have been any servant yeah but they he was the only one left in the castle like picture right so like could ha- he could have been the hero of the situation I mean yeah. I can't speak for what he did or didn't do during the events but I, I from what Lonan's saying I am interpreting that he basically would have been caught, like, like the guards run in and Loden's laying there with the dead king. Which and, is not a good idea. And would have thought it was him. So he, I guess, in in his in his wolfy brain, in his potato brain, <laughs> thought it would be good to run away instead of maybe deal with the situation. Which, I mean, I can't really speak for that. My concern, really, Lonan, is why you couldn't say that within a zone of truth. Yeah. The questions were not asked. The question was, did you kill the king? And I. And you said, you couldn't. You say couldn't, you couldn't say, say no. That you didn't. So what does that mean? What are you leaving out? I'm not too sure. I don't know. I'm telling you the story. Well, like why I'm, couldn't you say you didn't kill them? Do I know why? Do I, what was my feeling upon? I just couldn't say it. You, I, you felt like the a pressure, like almost like sealing you up shut. That you wouldn't feel what can I relate it to else? tell them? Like, what can I, like, in my mind, what could I be like? It's like the feel, imagine the feeling of try to yell as loud as you can, but you can't. It's just, it felt like there's, like, there was no, like, there's no air in your lungs to speak. I tried to speak as much as I could, but as, as if you were trying to yell as loud as you can, but no air is coming out. Yeah, that was probably the effects of the spell. I understand. Well, I don't know. You to lie. Well, but here's you the thing. To talk. If Gray, if Gray can cast a zone of truth in the morning, we can find out for sure. That sounds good to me. Right? You look over and you're just holding like... <laughs> a it's just a small... It's like, <laughs> it's like, it's like a baby yeah. crab. Yeah, oh, it is tenacula. Yeah. He's returned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, fl- he floated down and yeah. I nibbled on the crab while yeah. you guys were talking. Tenacula seems fine with your new form. Yeah. <laughs> well, um... I, I kill think... everybody in the sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I think I that we wanted. should... I think that we should maybe eat our food and rest. And not talk for a little while. Uh, yeah, Lonan, I'm going to like grab Lonan's shoulder. Lonan, it's okay, I'm still your friend, even if you did kill the Merchant King. But clearly saving I've, the lives of others around here, that being attacked by a giant crab does not seem to be understood as friendship. What? No one said they're not your friends. You don't have to be so aggressive, babe. I'm just gonna be shaking my head over across the fire. Eating into the crab. It's very buttery, by the way. Ooh, Ooh, buttery. 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 Without butter? It's it's like. It was my ass. Natural butter. I think it's the wood. We're in like the food plane, everything. We're like, like, this isn't dirt, it's chocolate. (laughs) We come back to the material. My armor doesn't fit. Um, Lonan, you don't have to be hostile. Guys, are you still Lonan's friend? I stare at Eerie because she was the one who was being mean. I mean, yeah, but honesty is important. I totally agree. I think that's also fair. Uh, I don't know. Okay. I'm being honest. Thank you. Okay. Um, so you guys are planning to rest up? Rest up. Take a long rest? Um, yep. Before I finish, I want to try uh, one thing. And uh, mm-hmm. for giggles, I just want to see if I can cast my horse. Or mm-hmm. summon my horse from... Because it never got unsummoned. Yeah. Let's see if I can bring it here. Okay. So where, where are you trying to do this? Like pretty much like... Like just where you're standing. 15 feet beside the fire. I'm just going to be like, okay. summon it. So you can, you f- <laughs> arrives. <laughs> and you can just hear like Grace saying this, and, like swishing his hand. And at first, nothing happens, and then you feel like boom, and you see 
bubbles forming in the river oh. that I give way to steam as a th- <laughs> thum, thum, as your comes large in. black stallion oh. comes out of like the boiling water. Oh. As it like immediately stops steaming and boiling as soon as it just gets out. I'm gonna walk up to it. I'm sorry for leaving you back there. Yeah. Was it rough? And you'll feel a little bit of uh, betrayal before like um, I was almost dead. Before sorry. like happiness and kind of like a, a, a ray of relief to be back. Yeah. I'm just gonna pet it, pet it. Yeah, it'll leave us to head down. Alright, and then uh, that's all I really want to do for a tenant. Uh, I am going to um, at some point, I'm gonna take the, the snow globe out and I'm gonna pop into the snow globe and grab all of our stuff because I emptied my bag of holding yes. in the snow globe and I'm gonna pop out and You go When you like, go in, Vitral has, ha- has it all like Organized on the shelf. Thank you, Vitral. You're welcome. Are you having fun in here? Yes, I organized. Oh, weird. So you guys get to see us fluster. A little yeah. blip. Um, so what happened in that moment is I'm not sure if you saw Gray we went to a plane. brought. But yeah, now they're <laughs> yeah. in the plane of fire. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, Gray summoned forth from the river his black stallion, um, and Pippin was just had just popped into Vitral's snow globe. And I'm going to say, hi, Vitral, hope you're having fun. And I'm yes. gathering up everything. Off of the neatly organized shelves. Yes. yes. Thank you so much. Yeah. How's he enjoying Interesting your landscape. Business? I brought you a little bit of crab. Crab. Uh, it's food. Oh. Is it so you don't die? Yes. You put it mm. into your speaking bits. Ah, uh, <laughs> I, I think I will try it. All right. Thank you. Into your speaking bits. <laughs> and then I'm gonna yeah. pop out of the snow globe with like all of my stuff uh, and drop it all on the ground. And, like bottles are rolling and stuff with potions. <laughs> um, and uh, after that, I'm going to um, like I guess just relax with everybody. I'm I can tell that there's like a tension in the air, but I'm trying to like remain cheerful. Okay, who's sleeping? Me. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna take a watch. Okay. I'm actually going to go to Pippin. Pippin. Yeah. Would you care to go for a walk with me? Um, okay. Gray, is Gray awake? Gray is taking first watch. Gray, we're gonna go for a walk, okay? We shall return, Gray. Can I uh, instruct my horse to assist with watch? You can, like, ride your horse around as you take watch, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. I shall do so. And we're gonna walk off into the bushes. And we're gonna walk off into the bushes. Mm-hmm. Okay. And with that, that's where we're gonna take a break for tonight. Right. Oh, Ooh. all right. We'll Ooh. be back. We'll be, be back, back in about ten minutes, guys. She breaks back to back. So thank you all for tuning in to session eighteen of All Fun and Dice. It's Yeet. definitely a crazy one. Crazy. Yeah, it's definitely vigilant. It's spooky, yeah. yeah it's very vigilant. It's very vigilant. It's spooky dooky. Okay, remember to stay vigilant and stick around. Okay. Hello, everybody! Welcome, Welcome back. back. Break is over. We are back to session 18, Elf and Dice, stranded. Uh, right before the break, uh, there was an encounter with a large, giant crab that our party managed to quickly fight off uh, before kind of dissolving into a little bit of conflict mixed between Eerie's newfound strange appearance and Lonan's sketchy past. The last thing they did is they started to lay down um, Gray is watching. Yuri has tried to sleep, even though it's still very bright outside. Um, and Lillian and Pippin have stepped away for a walk. And that's what we'll jump straight into the two of you. Um, has the sky changed at all? Like, is it dark? Um, roll perception, Luca. Can I do the same? Yep. Like, from him, the same. <laughs> <Right. Funny. laughs> Twenty-one. 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 Nice. Ooh, cloud. That one looks like a raptor. <laughs> <laughs> um, Pippin, you notice that the sky has not changed color at all. You do notice, though, that the clouds are a much more menacing shade of gray than they were earlier. Okay. So, Lana, uh, what did you want to talk about? Well, I mean, what do you believe? That's what I want to know. What do I believe? Yeah, it's like, I keep telling everybody that I did not kill the king. What oh, do you believe? Oh, about you. Um, 
you seem to know me, you know, we have, think that me and you have a good friendship going on more than the others. I don't want them to feel left out at all, but... Well, that's very sweet of you to say, Lonan. Um, are you asking me if I believe you? Yes, I, I want somebody to believe me. Uh, I... I know it's hard, because I know that you know, my, all, the, all the signs point to me. It's hard for me to explain this without hurting your feelings. You're my good friend, and I care about you, I'd say, quite a lot. Um, but I also consider myself sort of a man of science and evidence. And based on the nature of the spell that I know you were under, I know that you would be unable to lie within a zone of truth unless you were like incredibly magically capable or something. Um, so I, I'd say that I'm feeling conflicted. Like I, I want to believe you're telling me the truth because I don't think that you would lie to me after what we've been through. But I also am, um, I am confused on why you would be unable to say that then within a zone of truth. And you're just as confused as I am. Okay. Imagine trying to tell something that you know, but you are restricted from doing so. It's very... I know what that's like. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that you kind of understand. I understand, like, you know, I, I gotta be honest, I would be in the same situation as you. I would feel the same as you do now. The same with others as well. I can't blame them for not believing me. I just think that you should know, Lonan, even though this is hard for you, um... We all have our own stuff that we're dealing with. I mean, look at Eerie. Like, she, she's not even in her own body anymore. And I know that I seem, like, really calm and controlled and, like, helpful, but I've actually been pretty upset the whole time because I traveled all the way to that city to get to the academy, and I couldn't even do that, and I don't even know if we're ever going to get home. I oh, know. Nice. So, uh, like, I understand that you've got stuff going on, but I think that we all have stuff going on and we need to work together. Well, that's what I'd like to do. I'd like to work together and not point fingers at who's lying and who's not. Well, Lonan, the person who they think is lying is you. <laughs> no, I understand that. Yeah. Well, good talk, Pippin. What are you going to do tomorrow when you can't tell, say that you didn't kill the Merchant King? I'm not too sure. It's up to you guys to believe me and... I'm assuming the same thing is going to happen again, but I have no idea. Perhaps Grey's most magic likely, is, is different than... Most likely, I mean, the best indicator for future events is past events. So most likely the same thing will happen, and you won't be able to say it. Right. So, I don't know how they're going to react, but I got your back. So, just remember that. I appreciate it, Pippin. Of course. Have you noticed the sky hasn't changed? So looking up, is it, is, okay, so when we first got here, was it like bright? Like, uh, like if you look at the sky, everything's like super bright? It's not like super bright. It's not like looking into the sun. It's like okay. looking into a nice clear blue sky. And it's still the same? Clouds. Uh, Other than the Looking, clouds. now that Pippin pointed out, you notice the clouds are gray, but that's all that you notice. The weather's changed, but How long? I don't think the sky has changed, and I can't see a sun. How long have we been out here for, approximately? You would guess that you've been out or at least awake, for at least three hours now. Well, <clears throat> it's hard to tell the time here, because we don't really know exactly what time it would be. There's no sun to tell, there's no, you I think know. I'm going to make a whole bunch of flying elixirs in the morning and see what mm -hmm. I can see above the tree line. Looking at, like, the ground, um, are all the flowers, are, I mean, not are all the flowers, like, uh, I don't really even know what I'd be looking for. I'm just trying to find out, like, um, like, what is the, the turf that we're walking on? Is it just dirt or like what it's like a like kind of solid almost like a rock but it's not like super stiff it has a little bit of give when you step on it um and a lo most of the surface is covered uh, in like some big different like vegetations if i were to like kick i, I want to kick open like, like i want to just like basically kick with my foot to like open up a space to see like what, if there's dirt under my feet or what's under my so feet. So like, un like under the vegetation yeah, or, yeah. yeah, you can like go by and as you move it, like under the vegetation is a similar kind of grayish, like, um, like this ground that you're stepping on now. Okay, it's nothing like weird. Well, it's hard to tell what time it is, but I'm sure that maybe when 
I'm confused. Are we going to go to bed now and then wake up when it's dark then? I guess if we're going to be traveling at night time. I don't even know if it's going to get dark. It's only been a few hours. I'm sure that it could just be early in the afternoon. I mean, we did take a, a pretty bad hit there, so... You know. Have the shadows moved at all? What shadows? Is there any shadows? Not that you noticed. Hmm. I don't think that... I. Uh, right now, my theory is that there probably isn't any night here. When the clouds are over top of our head, um, is there shadows from the clouds? Not that you've seen. What? <laughs> so, I'm looking up at the clouds, and I looked at... So, hmm. What's creating the light if there's no shadows from the clouds? I don't know. Maybe it's just some sort of, like, all-present light. Curious, isn't it? Seems quite odd. What are we getting this... Yeah, you know, what are we, this is a magical light area? Like, I'm so confused. I don't know. I, I think that tomorrow morning, if I can fly above these trees, I'll be able to... Um, I'll be able to figure something out. I guess tomorrow morning doesn't really make any sense if no. there's no days or nights, but after I have a nice rest. Would we know that, like, not having, I mean, not having darkness is going to play with our minds kind of thing? Uh, like, what do you mean? Generally, like, if you're, generally if you're, like, there is no darkness and you're always in, like, the light and you're trying to fall asleep and stuff like that, it just kind of plays with your mind, right? Because you're always, you're not adjusted to that. Roll an intelligence check. Um, twelve. 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 You aren't schooled enough to know like the science behind sleep. Okay. Um, and you haven't really had any moments where you've had to stay up or try to like you haven't had enough difficulty sleeping during the day. Right. So like you wouldn't. I don't think you would necessarily think that. Okay. Well, let's see how the morning works for us. And if it's still light out at that point, I think then we can kind of consider the fact that. We might be on some sort of area that we're completely unknown. I mean, we already don't know where we are as it is. It doesn't surprise me that we don't know about a sun being here. I think that we're probably going to see several weird things like that during our stay. Are you documenting? Point. Are Are you uh, documenting everything that you see as well too? Uh, I can start. I think that's a good idea. Start categorizing different plants that you might see as well too. It might be a good idea. Excellent idea, Lonan. Great thinking for a potion maker. What I was curious is. Might be a good idea is every time you instead of carrying them on you, you should make an area inside the cabin, inside of the uh, inside of the Vega holding, um, inside of the snow globe. Might be a good idea to have Vitral. I know that he might not be able to take care of it all. I don't, we don't even know where he's at at this point. Uh, he's in the snow globe. Oh, he's back in. Sorry, I yeah. didn't notice that. Um, but yes, I believe that it might be a good idea to have have some sort of idea of what this the herbs are around us. I don't know if he'll know, but we can start collecting some. Sure. So as we walk back, I guess I'm not gonna, I'm gonna kind of like keep quiet and just yeah. gonna collect herbs and hand them over to Pippin. Okay. So you can uh, collect a handful of different. You roll a nature Just like check with random me. stuff. Okay. Nine. What are you rolling? Oh, am I rolling as well? If you would like. Nature check. Yeah. Um, twenty. Twenty. So you guys collect a fair amount of interesting things. Like, lot, all the plants are foreign to you. You don't really recognize anything that um, is similar. You can recognize similar structures that would, like, this serves as a flower. Or this is some sort of, like, strange, like, tree or analog, right? But nothing uh-huh. quite that is a tree or a flower. Does any of the plants, like, make us, like, feel different or make us burst out in, like, hives or something? Not that you've noticed. Okay. Hi, Gray. How's Watch going? Quiet. Yeah. Is, is Eerie still asleep? I look over. Is Eri still asleep? Eri still asleep? Still asleep? Alright. I think I'm gonna kinda, um, maybe take a little nap. Okay. Uh, you, 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 you're gonna keep watch? For a little bit longer. Okay. Thanks, Gray. Nap. Good night. Good night. And I'm gonna kinda sit down with all of our junk that's like I've tumped out of the, out of the uh, snow globe. And I'm gonna like play with my pocket watch a little bit, and then I'm gonna go to sleep. Okay. I'll fall asleep in the morning. Okay. So Gray, some times goes by, the clouds shift, the wind blows. Now that no one's talking, the howling is the only companion you have, and it's loud and intrusive. And after a while, it starts to get to you, and you don't you don't think you can take watch anymore. You feel like it's been long enough. Okay. Um. Real perception though. 
Nineteen. Nineteen. Yeah, other than the wind and some strange insects, um, you do see at one point a strange crab, not si- more of this, uh, similar, like more of a shrimpy shape, okay. um, scuttle down the center of the river, its eyes darting towards you, but doesn't approach. Okay. Okay. Um, I'll go uh, and wake up. Who should I wake up? That is gonna be unfortunately Lonan. Lonan, okay. <laughs> so Lonan, I'm gonna I'm gonna And I wake up. I wasn't really, I was kinda like on I was kind of sleeping but like lightly sleeping. You were gray sleeping. Yeah. I was just yeah. like mm. yes. I feel it. Well Um just curious if uh, you want to take a little bit of the watch and maybe wake up Pippin or Yuri after. Very well, I'll do so. Okay. Good night, Gray. Enjoy your rest. Night. Yes. Staying awake, I'll try to remember once again as much as I can about what happened before. Yeah. Do I remember anything? Do I like thinking back and thinking back and thinking back and trying to like tr- retrace my steps from running through the hallways uh, when I found the when I found the king, and from when I left the uh, the kitchens? Was there any like was there any new descri- like descriptions that I've like noticed in them? You have replayed the story in your head countless times um, and it's not something that you have been able to get any more insight on on okay. your own. So the same as it was before? Yeah. Okay. Um, so I will just sit there and be peace, uh, you know, just quiet and watch everything around us. Okay, roll perception. Uh, 20. 20. Looking <coughs> up, you see... The clouds coalesce into almost familiar shapes of the storm. Um, and parts the way through your watch, it starts to drizzle slightly. Okay, so it's raining? Yeah, not very heavily. It's more of just like spitting, but water is coming down. Um, and you can see up, you can see shapes flying through the sky. They look like birds. Okay. Quite, quite high. Um, but that's all you see on your watch. Do they look like they're watching us? Um, look- no, it looks like they're just like. Okay, they're not. From like, what you saw, they're not like. Um, when you roll twenty, um, so I'll, I'll, I'll honestly be truthful. Um, they kind of just look like they're animals flying. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Sounds good. It's not like they're like. They, yeah, they're not like perching in trees, yeah. staring at you. It's just <laughs> they're like at a height, um, and you can see them, kind of shaped against the cloud. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. I would continue my watch. Okay, and then so do, do after I my watch is over, I will go and I'm going to leave Eerie alone because Eerie is not very happy with me. I'm going to, wife. And I'm going to wake up Pippin. <laughs> good morning, Pippin. Good morning. And he's uh, like curled up in a nest of your things. Yeah, I'm holding a potion bottle. Yes. Daylight has not changed. Not at all. Pippin. It's darker now. Oh really? Because but you can guess that it, you noticed it got darker because when the rain started when the rain, falling. Okay. But I'm gonna. I'll assume that it's actually getting darker out. Pippin, it seems as if it's getting darker out as well. Okay. So uh, enjoy the watch, and I'm gonna get some more rest. All right. If you need anything, wake me up. Eerie, Eerie seems like she might need quite a bit of rest. She se- looks rather tired. Well, she almost got like pinched in half by that crab claw. Same, same with Gray as well too. Yeah. I think both of them need a long Still rest. Still bleeding. Yeah, Eerie got hurt too. Did you ever apologize for hitting her with your arrow? No, I should probably do that in the morning. Yeah. Instead of waking them up, just feel free to wake me up next. Are you sure? That's okay. All right. Um, good night. Good night, then. So, um, on the beginning of my watch, I'm going to not really pay a huge amount of attention to my surroundings. I'm going to start organizing everything that, um, that, uh, like, I, that we don't, that we have, that I have out. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to start, like, crafting a new bag of holding. So, are you going to make, how are you making it? So I have like all of my potion beakers set up into this like huge line of like connecting tubes and potion bottles and like boiling stuff. Okay. And then at the end there's like a drip and it drips into this big jar and like when the, when it drips it like kind of like grows into a part of a bag. Okay. <laughs> and grows into more. And like every drip okay. it's growing more into this bag of holding. Um but when I'm going through my stuff, I was wondering, I have a vial of Eerie's hair. Yes. Because I plucked one of her hairs, mm-hmm. I remember. Yes, you did. You and when I plucked her hair, her black hair changed white. Yeah. Mm. 
So when I come across that, that vial, when I'm organizing things, I'm gonna be like, hmm. And then I'm gonna take the hair out with like a little tweezer and walk over to Eerie and look at her and, and try to pluck one of her hairs. Oh. Okay, roll a uh, sleight of hand check. Um, I don't know if I need to roll. No, you're not gonna you're roll. Sleeping. I just need your he passive would have, perception. You have advantage though because he, she's sleeping, right? No. Oh, really? No. Um, eight. What's your <laughs> passive perception, Eerie? It's underneath your skills in that line. Three? No, passive. Nope. That one, yeah. 18? 18. <laughs> <laughs> so you're you get close to Eerie, and before you even are able to like close the tweezers, her eyes, her eerie black eyes. Um, roll a quick, per- Ooh. Ooh, roll a yeah, quick perception yeah. check. I wonder mm-hmm. if that was on purpose. On purpose. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 13. 13? You can see, because you're pretty close to her face while doing this, mm-hmm. you can see that her eyes, while appearing to be clear black, you can see the distinction from sclera to iris to pupil, but they're all just black. But, but there's like, see... but up close, I can see the differences. Yes, you can see that it's a cool. fully like normal eye, just black. Okay. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I, what, are you, what are you doing? I just need a piece of hair. Why? Uh, I have to compare it to a previous sample. <laughs> Do I, was I conscious of him even taking the previous sample? Um, nope. Were roll, they sleeping? No. I can't remember. Roll a quick or. intelligence check and I'll let you know what it was because I remember. Oh, no. Six. Six? You do not remember. You have no recollection. What do you mean a previous sample? I've collected some of your hair in the past and I want to compare it to your hair now. <laughs> <laughs> I have some of all of your hair. Creepy. I'm going to just be like... Lots of lonins. He sheds a lot. Okay. Can if I you see? you tell me what you find. Well, when I picked, I plucked um, one of your hairs. Uh, actually, it wasn't long after we met. Um, <laughs> and um, when I plucked it, it was back when you didn't look like this and your hair was black except for that white streak. Uh-huh. Um, and when I plucked it, uh, the black hair like changed white. Like I, it, the texture changed as well. Why didn't you tell me? Um. I don't know. I guess <laughs> I guess I kind of just thought I would look into it later. We had a lot on we had a lot going on back then. And I'm going to just reach up and like pull out one of my own hairs. Yep. Yeah. Alright. And be like, okay, well you can you just tell me this time? Sure, and I'm going to put down my goggles and then like several layers of like magnifying glass are gonna like flick out of my goggles like <laughs> shink, shink, shink. <laughs> and then I'm gonna look at the two pieces of hair and examine them and see if they're similar. I roll an investigation check. That one turns black. Natural one. Whoa. Oh my God, so you bad. are you're just like the weight of the the day and the water is like splashing down onto the lenses and obscuring. Um, a little witch of wiper. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> <They> broke. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> um, so you just, it's not an ideal, like, situation to be looking at it right now. Um, I'll have to compare these later, and I'm going to put them in two different vials and mark them. Okay. Um, I, normal eerie and weird eerie. <laughs> uh, weird I think, eerie. I think that perhaps you might not have been affected by the portal. I think what? you... There's a possibility, and this is just a hypothesis, so don't jump to any rash conclusions, but I, uh, there is a possibility that you were perhaps like this beforehand. What do you mean? Like, how can I, could I have been like this but not know? I'm not sure. We'll have to look into it. Good night. <laughs> And I'm just gonna be like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, to be fair, Pippin, you are feeling very tired, and especially trying to realizing that a lot of your bag of holding has been creating it took a lot out of you. Yeah. You are very tired. So, Cute, <laughs> <laughs> this is what Lola looks like. Yeah, this is what my real Lola looks like. Um, so when uh, my bag of holding is finished being rendered or printed or whatever, <laughs> I'm going to. <laughs> oh, don't. Okay, uh, I'm going to, um, I'm going to go, Lonan, Lonan. And that, this time I'm actually, like, I was in, like, a deep sleep because I was, you know, just... You are awake hearing. Yeah, I'm, like, my eyes are, like, 
Now yeah, they're black, but if they yeah. could be bloodshot, they would be. <laughs> wake up already. It's time to black wake hair. up. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Do you mind if I just sleep in your bedroll? It's all warmed up. Uh, was I use? I don't even know if I was using a bedroll. I, I, I just assume that you guys sure. do. Yeah. Yeah. You I guys all say, have them. I want to say like weird terrain. Thank uh, you. Sure. Uh, go on. <laughs> so I'll wake up. Anybody else awake? Um, if you you can see Yuri's eyes. Nah, I'm not gonna look at Yuri's face. You no, but no, like Yuri's face is like distinct enough that like the almost like plaster whiteness compared to the, like the void black of her eyes, it's very easy to tell that she's okay. awake. Okay, Yuri. I'm sorry for what I did earlier. Um, when I pulled your the arrow out of your leg, I was a little bit annoyed with all that happened to us, and I was also annoyed that the fact that I went to help you out and you de- you denied me the fact of doing so. Um, I also apologize. If, you don't have to say anything. I also apologize for the fact of you not believing me when I mentioned about the fact that I did not kill the, the king. <laughs> I'm not laughing in character. I know. I just laughed. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Why are you? <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm sorry you didn't believe me. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, just be like, okay. Yeah. Um, I guess we'll just have to agree to disagree on some things. Was there a hair on the back of my head? Is that really like? No, no, it's just, it's <laughs> just okay. laughing and phrasing. It was just funny. I guess we'll just have to agree to disagree on some things. Friends, however? I mean, it would take me a bit more than that to trust you, so I would say I'm not your enemy. Perhaps saving your life again would make you be my friend. How many times have I saved Eerie's life? <laughs> um, at least once. How many once. times have Eerie saved Lorna's life? No. <laughs> oh. There's only been a few distinct, like, save moments. I would definitely, I would definitely say the last, um, I would definitely say the last, uh, battle that we just did, I definitely saved that. Oh yeah, 100%, 100% you saved that. 100% that was a save. I'm trying to think of another battle that I can tell her right now. That she was in poor... Poor situation. Eerie you would have to. I mean, Eerie like, literally always kicks ass. Yeah. yeah, you did actually do really well, like a lot of times. Yeah, I'm the yeah. one that is always being saved. Yeah, you and me. Eerie <laughs> pulled me and Gray are the damsels. Eerie dragged mm-hmm. me out of a poison fog. <laughs> and me. Yeah. 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 Well, I guess I'll win your friendship back some other time. Feel free to rest up, Eerie. I don't mind taking the watch. For- and you can sleep at I'm, all. I mean, I'm pretty wide awake right now. Pippin woke me up, and I don't think I'm going to fall back asleep for a long time, so... <laughs> we've I noticed... <laughs> can stay up. We've noticed that it doesn't seem to be like this... The sunlight is changing at all. I don't know if you notice anything weird around here. Me and Pippin have been... Me? <laughs> Sorry? I'm other than yourself. Weird. Other than weird. yourself, of course. Yeah, lots of weird things happening like that, but... We're not noticing any type of shadows. doesn't seem to be weather... The weather's changed to... Uh, when the rain was out, like, it didn't hurt our hands or anything like that? No, it's just rain. It's water. Okay. Yeah. Uh, when it's not raining bullets? Seems to be the same <laughs> type of water that we have at our, hel- our home. I'm not too sure. Like, it's, I, I, it's, you look to me, but I'm asleep. Yeah. <laughs> Pippin s- spent some time... I'm talking to you, though, but I don't know if she's listening. Um, Pippin s- uh, sent some, spent some time... Explain to myself about how planes work, and I explained to her like about planes and all that stuff as much as I know. Mm-hmm. Um, and it seems as if we might be on some sort of different planet altogether. I don't know. Well, this is something that I you know, know that we traveled through. Pippin explained to me before we went into that jail that if we needed to get away, that his backup plan was to combine the banks of holding, and it would take us to another plane. So I, I'm sure we are on another world. I just don't know where or what. I, for one, have been uh, clueless about what another plane would be. I, I didn't know until you told me. But, anyways. I mean, it was supposed to be our backup, backup, backup plan. So, um, I don't know much more than that. I mean, I haven't been paying too much attention to the weather or to our surroundings. I've been a little bit, a little, like... Preoccupied. <laughs> preoccupied. <laughs> the thing is that you guys feel like, well, on one hand, you're, I feel terrible for you guys not believing me. 
On the other hand, I feel even more terrible for the fact that I poured you guys into a situation like this. Do you understand? It's not my, it was not my idea to bring you guys here to an area that was unfamiliar. No one blames you for us being here. Just want to make sure of that as well, too. Because we I just blame for not coming to get into it again. Uh, it was good talking to you. But <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. It's all black. And you just see her like her I like fa- her like face muscles move a little yeah. bit. Yeah. My my where my eyebrows. <laughs> You're like the very, the very faint <laughs> white <laughs> air, eyebrows. But like in Loden's mind, he thinks that like that that conversation went super well, and he's like <laughs> he's somewhat repaired like, like, like the blocks that fell from earlier. Yeah, he's like Erie. I'm sorry that you're wrong. Yeah, yeah. that's basically it. I'm sorry. I'm that sorry you that, that if, if, somebody, if somebody <laughs> saved my life, I'd be like, I'm. You know what? I believe you. We broke into a jail <laughs> to save you. Yeah. yeah, she did just save that's you. True, yeah. <laughs> We're not talking about that. <laughs> yeah, I'm asleep. I'm not gonna say anything. I go okay. back to my watch. So. And I'm going to get up and kind of. Um, I'm gonna find, is there trees around us? I can't remember. There's like these strange, like um, thin trunks, almost like um, anemone like so, trees. Yeah, not really like, not like tiny actual trees. trees. Okay. Anemone. Yeah, I'm just going to make like a slow perimeter around okay. where we are and just kind of pace. Okay. Well, then roll a constitution saving throw for me because you're staying up too long on. Constitution, you, you said? Uh huh. 22. 22? Okay, you're okay. You're starting to feel the effects of being tired, but it's not knocking you out yet. So you just know, I will tell you, you're not going to get your full rest unless you sleep more. Hmm. But. Well, I don't I don't want anybody else to be awake during this time. I'm awake. I'm no, busy. I, yeah, but I, I don't want her to, like, feel like she has to, like, watch. You know, she can kind of relax kind of thing. She's pacing. Okay. Sure. Okay. You, you do know you're not going to, um, so you're not going to get your, um, you're not going to eat your full rest. Yeah. You're not going to regain your abilities. If she, okay, at this point, am I feeling exhausted even though I, my You're tired, but you're not, like, passing. Am I dozing off yet. kind of thing? No. 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 Um, but you are feeling tired. She's, uh, so, ears, ears awake at this point? Yeah. <clears throat> can I, s- <laughs> can I, <laughs> can I, uh, stealth? What do you want to, what do you want to stealth I'm just for? testing my abilities to see if I can still do the things that I can. Before. Okay, so you're gonna try to be quiet. Okay, so we're gonna kind of just like blend with my, like see if I feel the same when I do the things that I used to know how to do. Okay, roll a stealth check for me. Mm-hmm. Nope, we'll stop it. Um, uh, eleven. Okay. Eleven. So you kind of off your game. Um, the rain, the weird terrain is kind of throwing you off, and as much as you think that maybe if someone wasn't paying attention, you'd be able to slip by, you you, don't, you feel off. You don't feel quite right. Okay. You don't feel like you're on the top on top of your game right now. Could I try and do like a, a flip off of like a, like a parkour? Type? Yeah, roll, roll an acrobatics check. Cool. Monks. <laughs> Uh, 26. Oh, oh my god. So you run up to one of the strange, like, tentacly rocks. Yeah. And as you get close, the tendrils, um, the tendrils start to suck in, but you're quicker. And you grab on and kind of do a, fl- and you kind of, like, pull back and flip off, and it kind of, like, rockets you forward, and you bounce off of one of the slim trees and do a flip in the air and land. Uh, and then... As soon as I notice her, like... I'm like at this point. I'm stealth. At, oh, oh, not no, well. No, at not this point, well. Like, yeah. At this point, I notice her like just, you know, she might not be watching us, but she's doing stuff. She's like exercising. You got it, yeah. So I'm like, screw this. I'm going to bed. Okay. And I'm gonna go and I'm gonna like sleep next to Pippin, not like in the sleeping bag. Okay. Which is really small, but I'm just, I'm just gonna sleep next to <laughs> We like, could sit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so after you do your cool flips, you see Lonan just, just cuddled up next to Pippin. I am looking yes. around as I'm, I'm watching. So during your watch, um, you notice that the drizzle slowly starts to fade. Um, and as much as it's been, you've been asleep for hours. Mm-hmm. Like at least, you know you were asleep for at least six hours, and it's been an hour now into your watch that this is happening. So it's been a while. You notice the clouds start to blow and fade away, and the same brightness returns. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Would I have recovered... Like, did I do short rest? A long rest. Long rest. Okay. So, so all your stuff. All my... Yeah, everything's back. So, okay. I'll 
update my thing after. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, I'm not tired, so yeah. yeah. No, you, gonna, you you got six hours of sleep. Do tired. I have my, can I check my bag for a ration? Yeah, you have, no, um, she's on her way. you have all your stuff. Okay. Yep, so you have a ration on you. Just make sure you record it. I'm sorry, instead of eating a ration, is there any crab meat left? Oh, uh, yes, there was like, there's there's like, it's not all cooked, but you can like probably start firing I'll it start if you want. Fire, then. Yeah. It takes a few minutes because everything's wet, but like you managed to like start a new fire. And I'll cook a little bit of crab. And will you guys will all... Will you give us like our entire list of uh, herbs that we get and plants and stuff? I will give it to you after. Okay. I would like to, like, even if you give it to Pippin, I'll, I'll like mm-hmm. to copy of it. Yes. Um, so you guys will slowly awaken, and then you'll be last to awaken because you kind of stayed up a little bit later, to the buttery, delicious smell of crab. Mm-hmm. Crab <laughs> for breakfast. Mm. Mm. Good morning. <laughs> and I'm going to bite into a, a big juicy piece. Okay. Juicy. I'm going to eat some crab while I prepare my elixirs for the day. And you guys notice, as you awaken, a clear blue sky above you. Mm. It never got dark. It never got dark, eh? No never. one's watch it got dark? No. It's going to be easier for us to keep an eye on things not sneaking up on us. It's I can see the dark rain this morning. And harder for us to hide. Great. When the creature snuck up on you, did you step on anything? What triggered it to attack you? Uh, there was like, uh, like seven or so. There was like a lot of piles of rocks, and I moved them around, and then... Oof. It was a gray crab. Maybe you mistake mistook the rocks for a giant crab. No, <laughs> it was like a small like pile of rocks. Oh. No, I think I thought they were like small piles of rocks. No, it was like a big pile of rocks. But uh, it was like it was I like, like, they were like small it was like you touched rocks, like, you touched it and it was the crab. Uh, it was like okay. sleeping. Oh, by the, the way, uh, the the vines here seem to try to pull you in. But so you to know. eat you. I don't know. What? what I, was, I was doing some uh, stretches over there, and uh, over yonder. the vines tried to... Oh, I think the vine, if you touch it, it like curls in on itself yeah. for protection. Oh. Did it try to grab you? It felt like that. Seems like... I'm, I'm gonna... I'm sorry, gonna, were you not from a jungle? I'm sorry that... What not like this, not Lonan. When the look at this. Never tried to <laughs> look at this plant right here, Lonan. I'm gonna point to some weird plant. What's and even just looking across the way, you see like an elk-like creature, but then like it's actually just a big praying mantis in the woods. Oh my gosh! It's just a crab with wings. Yeah. Nothing yeah. like this, Lonan. She's not from a jungle like this. Just get it. And never okay. Been to the jungle um, so. guys, I've prepared. Um, just so you know, hopefully we don't get in another fight today because I don't have. I basically made a whole bunch of potions to, mm-hmm. so that I can fly really high and see what's going on here. Okay. So, also, um, a new bag of holding. Oh, oh good, good. Um, Do you still have your other bag? No, I destroyed it when oh, I created okay. the portal. Sorry. Maybe you shouldn't That's make right. another one. Uh, Eerie, unfortunately, I won't be able to enhan- en- enhance your staff, though. That's okay. Because I had a spare bag of holding, but now that's destroyed. That's okay, I So understand. my apologies... But, um... I'm going to be like, I don't need it enhanced. That's true. Aww. Um, but, okay, so, basically, I'm going to just fly straight up. I have four flying potions. Oh. They last ten minutes each, but I can only fly ten feet. Like, in, like my, ba- my flying movement is only ten feet. Um, and I also prepared a little, uh, a little, like, levitation injection that I can do in case I fall. Okay, good luck. Okay. All right, uh, if I never come back, it was nice knowing you guys. <laughs> and then I'm going to drink the first one, <laughs> and my little, my little two little bug, like, dragonfly wings are going to pop out of my back. Yeah. Like <laughs> and I'm going to slowly fly up. And, like, on the bag of holding strap, I have, like, the other potions, like, grenades. <laughs> is it, is it almost and like he's getting beamed up? And Tenacula was, like, sludging up over your shoulder to, like, get away from the beating wings. Yeah. And he's kind of getting hit every time. And I'm gonna, like, fly, like, I'm, it looks like I'm, like, not, like, I'm, like, a little imbalanced. I'm like, Whoa. And I'm gonna fly uh, as high up above the trees as I can go. And, uh, can you describe to me what I'm seeing, Dean. Okay. So as you're flying up, and like how, okay, so how high do you want to go? Are you going to use all the potions to fly? Like what so, is... So, um, tell me what I see, and if I want to see more, I'll keep going higher and higher. Okay. So as you fly... So like right now, for the one... You were on the edge of a river. So as you fly up, 
you can see that the river stretches and goes farther with bends and nooks and creases in it. Um, but in between the river's branches, it's mostly undisturbed forest. As you go up and up to your left, um, to your, for your forward left, you can start to see the river widening. And you can see the start of what maybe is a lake. Can I ask a question? Yeah, of course. Um, what is the shape of the land? Does it look like it's hilly or is it like a plain? It's fairly flat with like, like, like smaller ridges in it. It looks like to your left, it begins to um, rise towards something. And even as you're looking there, you can see a big shot of what looks like either like steam or mist or like like high powered air in a big area off to your left kind of shoot high into the sky. A big beam of mist shoots out of the ground? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to take my goggles and put them on. It's like, this is like far to the left, like okay. far, far. I'm going to take my goggles and put them on still. Yep. And then, uh, has this been close to 10 minutes? Um, yeah, at this point. Okay, and then I'm going to take another potion. Okay. As you continue to go up, you can see, as you're looking forward, you can see the full breadth of this lake kind of appear. Um, turning around back to you, you can see um, the rivers continue to course. Um, but you don't see any... The landscape is fairly undisturbed. It's fairly the same forest with different um, groupings that colors change and some of the foliage changes, but it all seems cool. to be the same type of... Um, the same type of terrain. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, and that's about the end of the next 10 minutes. I'm going to pop another health potion. Okay, as you keep going... Or flying potion. As you keep going, you can see... Strangely, you can see... Almost farther now. You can see the full sky above you. And as you keep going up, the horizon slowly seems to almost, like, stop. Oh. And you can see what looks like a cloud. Like a big, like, long trail of cloud beyond it. Beyond the horizon, I see clouds? Not beyond, like, the horizon almost, you can't see down, it just looks like, it, like the horizon stopped expanding a little bit. Almost so, like, the land stopped, and then there's clouds? Maybe. I'm gonna drink another potion. Okay. And as you go up, you were about, you were, like, pretty dang high right now in the sky. You're probably, like... <laughs> you guys to... lost, you see this little speck? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just... Roll a perception check for me. He's been up there for, like, almost... How long, long have you How long have you been Natural up there for? one. Oh. As you keep going, you're very focused on this strip of cloud. And as you go up, you can see the cloud, but then you see more land again. Almost like it looks like from your angle, it looks like a mountain. As you are going higher and higher. Okay. And you're counting. And you lost track for a second, you realize you only have a few seconds left. Okay, and then I drink my last one. You already drank four. Uh, no, I drank three. Okay, so you have one more set. I have one more set. Okay, and as you okay, and as you fly up for the last ten minutes, you see this mountain kind of grow. It looks like it's long. It's a very tall peak that just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger and widening at its base. How high up am I at this point? You are very, very high. We don't, you don't have to give me an exact number. How long would he have been in the Yeah, I'm just curious about that. It's too. like almost an It's, it's like been almost it's an over hour. half an hour. Because each potion is 10 minutes, and I'm on my fourth potion. But we have no idea about that either, right? Does any of us know that he, that? Yeah, he has talked to you about he this. Has? And you've Do kind of been the under the effects. You, yeah, guys, I did it you guys have been under the effects of this magic and kind What's of have dealt with it. It's the last 10 minutes. It's 10. Per potion. 10 minutes per potion? Oh, yeah, so I can only travel. Taken like six I've taken like six. I've taken four. Oh, okay. So Do I know how many he's ha he has on him? How many? You know, he said he had four. He told you guys before okay. he went up. Um, can I roll another perception check to try to interpret what I'm seeing? Yes, you can. Nat twenty. Oh, good job. Nat twenty and a one. And uh, this, and this, is, this like session is like here. Yeah. Or here. Well, our yeah. rolls are like. Whoa. If it's not Actually, here, it's or they're like. Yeah. This so at this point, I'm like really cold, <laughs> but I'm still flying. No, you're up. not cold. Oh, I'm not cold. Okay. You haven't noticed a difference in the temperature. Have I noticed the difference in the thinness of the as air? As you get no, as you get higher though, you kind of feel strange, almost like disoriented, like. And you look down, but then you realize that you don't know where down is. 
<gasps> and you can still see the whale. But a whale? You almost, what? You notice the, the mountain you've seen in the distance. Shifts. Are we on a whale? <gasps> what? <laughs> the mountain in, moves? The mountain shifts. Are we in the And you sea see kingdom? that the trail of clouds... Oh my god, the jump behind steam. it. Yes. It was a psh. It was a psh. And that was a, that was a rain that was dropping on her head. It was it was from the whale. Oh, oh my You god. notice it shifts and the cloud <laughs> is not behind, but it's connected to what you thought was before was a mountain. Okay. And you see a very slow arcing movement towards where you earlier thought was your right. And you see the movements of a huge something beneath you. Okay. Yeah. You said whale. Oh. <laughs> Yo, boy. Okay, so uh, when my potion wears out and my wings, like, fall off, do I fall? You do begin to fall. Okay. Um, so I'm going to just, like, fall, like, and I'm just going to kind of, like, look around as I'm free falling. Roll one more perception check, Mommy. Would you be able to do that? I guess. Oh, nice! These rules of uh, perception. As if it was not one the first time. Yeah, uh, 22. 22. I rolled a natural 18. You do see, as you're falling quickly, a shape in the distance. What's, Can't tell what it is. What's the shape? What shape is it? It's just a blur. It is a speck on the otherwise clear blue sky. Alright, so I'm falling and falling, and I'm like watching the ground get really, really close, and right before I get to the tree lines, I'm going to take a little needle and inject it into my arm and cast Feather Fall. And you guys are seeing this. You guys are seeing like <laughs> this shape. And I'm wearing my goggles, and, and my hair's just like... <laughs> <laughs> and like right as you can fully see that it's Pippin, and it looks like he's just gonna literally die. He yeah. just... And then like I slowly lifts. land Cute. just to the oh. ground. What, what did you see up there? You were gone for a long yeah, time. Yeah, it was like an hour almost. Uh, sorry guys. Uh, <coughs> Are you okay? Yeah. Whew. That was a lot. Um, we're on something that's moving. What? 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 We're on, like, this weird ground. I'm gonna, like, stomp on the weird spongy rock ground. I think oh, that's, it, it was not spongy. It has a little give. It's almost like, yeah, it's not spongy. It's sand? Huh? It gives, but it's, it's like solid, right? Yeah. Is it like leather? When I was walking Maybe. with my sword, did I ever feel like anything? Is it like whale blubber? Was <laughs> ever going in? If I, can I, it was like pushing it like went into like a. I think, you know, okay. I think that we're on some sort of giant. I don't know, something like maybe a titan. I don't know. We're on something enormous. I'm going to take my raven. I think try to stab it into the ground just small? to see like, what happens. I, that's a good down. question. Oh, yeah. To it, we're probably small. I think I seen it breathing. What? It breathing? shot. There was a huge, like, a huge burst of steam in, um, I don't know any directions, but in that way. And um, I seen what looked like mountains moving. And also on the edges, like, so we're on this giant. Thing, right on the edges of it it just was like clouds and then I couldn't see anything beyond so like maybe this is all there is I don't know well I was hoping you were going to see a city just like <laughs> <laughs> either Gray well, is kind of like, like thinking about like a little bit yeah. I'm picturing whales with like barnacles or the mountains that's what I'm picturing Oh, the barnacles. Yeah, on the tail. I want to be, like, kind of pulling on my hair. Like, <laughs> yeah. A bit, so, like, and, like, oh, and it, as you move it, it, like, molds to where you were holding too much, it. Too much, too where, much. This is stressful. So we can start traveling in a direction if you guys want to head towards the giant moving mountains or if you want to head towards the steam that shoots into the sky. <laughs> I'm thinking that if we're going to go anywhere, we should like try to not. We should try to avoid the things that are moving. If Why? you think if you think it's something that it it's alive, and it tries to kick us off of itself, you know, it might seem. Mm -hmm. If it's that big, it probably doesn't even know we're here. Yeah, we're probably what? like might. It's true. Do you think this thing? Especially ever if we have a giant crab and that thing. Was Maybe that's not a crab. Maybe that's like a giant lice. But do you <laughs> think it would ever need to go under water? Don't even talk about Are that. Oh, I hope not. Are we already I didn't, in water? I, to be fair, Gray, I didn't see any ocean. I just seen more sky and clouds. I don't think we're on the Feywild like I thought. 
<laughs> we're probably somewhere else. This is pretty strange. We should try to find some area that we can rest in. Well, we you just rest us. No, I mean like where we I'd can set up a, ma- uh, like a camp just in case we do have to go underwater or something. I'm not even should we sure try what's going to happen here. Should we try to get to one of these edges and kind of like look out? I think that that sounds like a good idea. Yes. What's this closest edge of that this way. platform? Which way is that way? I don't know the, where the closest edge I saw. So it was following the river. Yeah, following mm-hmm. the river. Okay. Was that towards the steam blast? Is this even a river? The way you saw the river go is you would have to like cross the river at some point. Um, you know that if you headed towards the lake that you saw, that that was towards where the mountain was. What's closer? What do you mean? What's closer to an edge? What do you mean? The la- what? I just told you. The first one. Yeah, the lake. The yeah. river, following the river to the lake. So we should follow the river. There's a lake. There's like all kind. The forest changes too. There's like different colors. I told you there was a lake. There's a lake. Sorry, guys. I just fell thousands of feet. I'm just saying. Are you sure it's a lake? So are we all, before Maybe we it's... sit here any longer? I think we need to trek on and try to find an area. That yeah, let's walk and talk. This is not good. What, if you, this is true, what you're saying, this is not good at all because at any moment things can change, right? Things can just shift. I don't. Does know. anybody know anything about this? I, I, Lona, none of us know this where we is, are. I've never been outside of our plane before. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Lona, Erie's from a jungle. Gray is from the River Princetons, which I'm guessing is just like a normal place. You mentioned, yeah. you mentioned the, the Titan? What the heck is it? What is a Titan? A uh, Titan means like very big. Mm. Uh, maybe, or also some sort of like. Do you know about these Titans? No. Everyone who's not talking. Can I have a perception check? Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Save my good luck. 22. 22. Great. Mm, 17. Oh, okay. Nice. I was accepting. I was accepting Brilliant. three. <laughs> so both of you, <laughs> as Lonan and Pippin, are speaking yeah, and kind of debating what, where to, what to do and where to go and exactly what's happening. You notice something that you haven't seen in your whole entire journey here so far. You notice a shadow fall over the camp and over the carcass of this giant crab. And looking up, you see the form of a ship above you. In the sky? We we are in the underwater. I don't think we're underwater. And as you guys watch, you see ropes tumble down from the ship. Is it a flying ship? And you see forms descending the, the ropes. Like? First how, one. How big is the ship compared to... Like, you can't, it's based on the height. You guys can't see how high the ship, how What's big it, it is. What's it look like? It looks like a sailing ship. The bottom, like, you're looking up almost at a large... Do I see an wind. anchor? You don't see an anchor, but on the side you can see some weird, larger, almost like balloon-like shapes on the side of the ship. Mm-hmm. But you can see it... Yeah. But based on the angle, you can't see anything above okay. it. I'm going to point upwards and I'm going to say, Sh- ship? Yeah. Do the ropes land on the ground? They don't land on the ground, but you can see forms descending. Let's set everyone hide. Oh no. Is it near, as, is it near us? Or is it, like, it's not directly on us. It's it? directly above it's you directly guys. It's directly above us. <laughs> and as you say, <laughs> let's hide, boom, the first form falls. Arrow. Like, they're not, not going to shoot, just going to like... Okay. I have my sword doom, there. Doom, 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 doom. How, what is their scale? Half a dozen. Half a Half dozen. A dozen. <laughs> Half a dozen. I'm going to tall humanoid figures stand, and as they come up from their crouching, they're covered in multicolored hairs, some dark browns ranging to like golden furs, with varying faces and long primate-like tails. As they <clears throat> as they look at you, and they start yelling, in a strange unknown language to all of you. Wispy, like a storm on the horizon. Like thunder cracking. And that's where we're going to end the session today. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Are these monkey men? Oh my gosh. Monkey Dude, things. that's so cool. Yeah. Oh we're gosh. on a freaking something. Um, mm-hmm. a flying so my guess is that we're on like a, sh- a gigantic whale. The- those are barnacles on the tail and it's mounting and it's he told us. <laughs> you probably- I accidentally said it. <laughs> yes. What? You're probably right about it. Like, I know. I totally. Time. It's because I was looking at. You what? You're probably right. It's like a sky ship or something. 
I think that we're not. What plane are we on? Do you think that the whole plane is just this Maybe. creature? I don't know. And these people. I'm... What's wrong with Eerie? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's like, also, what's going on with Eerie? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, are they ever going to Zone of Truth loan in? We'll see. We forgot. <laughs> next week. Yeah. Actually, uh, next week. No, not next week. This is the, again, last session of the year, guys. Yeah. Last session. 2019 wrapped wow. up. Last session of the decade. We'll see you next True. decade, guys. Yeah. Oh my god. See you yeah, next year, guys. Yeah. A break I'll see you next said. decade. Yes. Because of the holidays, everybody has a lot of family stuff going on. I know personally, I don't think I can deliver the quality content that I would. I, I really try to strive for you guys. So we're going to hold off next week, and we're going to return, I believe it is on the 4th or the 3rd. The Friday is. Yeah. So yeah, next week is the 27th, which we're skipping. It's, it's the 3rd. The 3rd that we come back? Yeah, yeah we come yeah. back the 3rd. So not next Friday, but the following Friday, we'll yeah. be back. Yeah. Woo! We yeah. hope everyone, if you celebrate or you don't celebrate, happy holidays. have a really nice week next week with your family or, you know. Or the people nice that you love. Yourself, or the people that you love or whatever you're doing. Yes. Yeah. I'm sure we'll post a bunch of New Year's pictures of us on New Year's. Yeah, thank you again for tuning in. It's been, I know we've had, a, we had a quite a long hiatus, but it's honestly been a great time, and I'm excited for yeah. what All Fun and Dice brings us in 2020. It's yeah, going to be a great gonna be time. Crazy. I mean, we've up, we've spent time, like, upgrading the stream. The quality's gotten so much better. It really has. Like, I remember, remember, We're like, look at this overlay. <laughs> yeah. Remember? remember yeah. Look at this. Seriously? Look at this amazing. art that we have. I know I have a lot of fun overlay. playing. Oh, yeah, me too. I love it. So. I yeah. know. And like I, it really, it, like, it consumes my thoughts in just a really great one way. One thing to look forward to, which hasn't been, like, talked about in on, like, my streams that I've said is, uh, and you guys probably already heard me talking about it, is we are 1,000% getting a D&D &D, uh, emote on. Ooh! I didn't know that! Ooh, so, so exciting! Yeah. So See, I'm this is news to everybody! I'm trying to find like, an actual, like, I'm trying to have him do his own custom, like, work on it, so then that way uh, we'll actually have it. It'll be part of, like, the actual emote, then I'm gonna be changing, I'm gonna take one of the actual main emotes and put it as, like, a bit. Uh, oh, bit. that's so, so like, exciting! So you, so that way anybody can use it. That's just a very good idea. I like it. Yeah, so it'd be pretty cool for that. I, I I'll have, I'm gonna ask for some ideas first, but it, it would be during like I'll probably post it on Discord maybe like next week or something. I have lots so, of ideas. Pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Rob is ready. Lots. Yeah. I've been so, thinking about this. <laughs> so we'll do that. We'll put that on there. Um, other than that, I mean, I don't think if you guys have any ideas, of, you know, come in the new year of like what you guys think you want us to improve on or whatever, you know. We're yeah, hoping you guys... to get like you know as time goes on a few upgrades. Like we're gonna have some. Oh yeah, so decals, things, oh, yes. Something, yeah. something, but you know, all takes time and money. So send us, slow, you know. Yeah, send us some ideas about mm -hmm. decals on the walls because we yeah. really want to fill the walls. We're like, thinking maybe like a big D twenty or something, like ooh, a black and white, like or like black maybe white. like a, a landscape, like some trees or a mountain, like something yeah. like that. Yeah, just, just spruce them up. Right? It would be cool to have kind of like maybe one logo here, like like whatever, and like an opposite one on that side. Something different on each something side. Something that, and then like mm -hmm. something. Like, I was thinking maybe the D twenty behind. It's hard because I don't have a lot of space. You don't. I'm like yeah. in my little box. Yeah. And I'm like, I know. Okay. I'm trying to do we'll it. And it's not working. Stuff, yeah. If you guys have any ideas, but next year yeah. it's crazy. We've already done 18 episodes. I know. It's yeah. And, that's insane. And, uh, thanks for everyone who's helped us, like uh, yeah. Ricky and Railgunner. Yes. Who, honestly, just incredible help. Yeah, amazing. We wouldn't guys. be able to do this without their help. Yeah. And True. Spirit for these amazing bags. Yes. Oh, uh, I don't know if you're, you're still here, but yes, they're so thanks. cool. Yeah. yeah. So. Spirit, I want some. I'm gonna commission See. you. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I just like, just thanks again to everybody for always tuning in and helping us, uh, you know, get better and like telling us that the audio is good and yeah. all that stuff. And, you know, I, actually it's kind of crazy. Uh, All Fun Dice episode one has almost 300 views on YouTube. Really? I'm actually oh, very, really? that's a lot actually. Yeah, that is. Wow. I mean, like the, pre, the episodes after are close to like, you know, 40 ish. Let's views. still, that's episode one with 300 though, that's yeah. pretty good. So, pretty cool. Nice guys. Yeah. Right. See you guys in 2020, and don't forget to stick, stick around! around. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa.